It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. <laughs> Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Um, let's get right to it. Uh, what did we see this week that was positively brilliant? What did we see that made us say, what a fucking idiot? Um, number one, Wax is here, right? Yo. What's good, bro? Hey, Wax, man. It's great to see you. Oh, uh, yes. How's the knee? Oh, it's the ankle. It's actually doing very well. I'm back in the Thames, so you know we early. Okay. You can't beat and me up no more. Baby? baby is doing great. He's, he's dark-skinned. And I know everybody is thinking that he's going to be light skinned. My son is definitely dark skinned. Brown. Got got, got big hands, brown. big feet. Definitely brown. Definitely. And he's Spanish. definitely a Smith. Dominican. Yeah. <laughs> Puerto Rican. Yes. Thank Part. You. Thank God, man. Congratulations, Blessings, Wax. Appreciate it. Did Wax ever tell y'all how, how he tore his Achilles to begin with? You said it. You tore your Achilles? I tore my Achilles, yeah. I was racing the pit bulls in Florida. That Florida shit different out there, bro. Hold like on. These motherfuckers fast <laughs> as hell out there for a reason. Like they they race pit bulls and all that type of shit. Did you get the surgery to get it fixed? Yeah, I got a surgery. I was on the boot. That's why I stayed away. I ain't let nobody see me because, of course, a lot of people want to beat me up. You included. You know what I'm saying? Remember when you got you fat? Up. I do remember when you got fat. That's now got I'm fat. definitely not fat no more. I'm still, back in still, the gym. Still, still, still slightly it. chunky. A lot nah. of bad habits. I was sitting down for 12 weeks. Nobody knew. I was acting like nobody uh, seen me. I stayed on the camera. Andrew, look what I took from him. I had to take it from him. You know? <laughs> I had to take it from him. Hold on, hold on. It was, look, look, look. One is five left out of a what dozen. Let, let, let's see who really ate them, I had though. to take it from him. Is that Krispy Kreme? Yes. That's different, though. Wow. Especially bro. if it's warm. You should, see Ev, you should see Evan in here fighting the feeling. <laughs> <laughs> he put you his, you, see, him, you he, see him in his chair? Yeah. He, he, he put his mask on when I opened the box. He was he like, oh, fuck that himself, smell. Right? Yes. <laughs> yes. Listen, Andrew's having a problem um, nutting fast. And I think Wax has a positively brilliant solution. What do you mean? He's, he's, he, he got a problem nutting, problem nutting, nutting fast. fast bro. I used to have all the control when I was on my back. Right? Mm. And then I don't know what happened. My girl did some crazy shit. I don't know what it is, but now she just get me off immediately, almost like I'm doing yeah. everything I possibly what is, can. Is your, what like, is your core? What's your core strength like? You got to really like get your core strength. That's how you do it. You got to keep your core tightened up, and you got to be sitting in like a sitting area like this. You can do it all day like this, but if you lay on your back, it's man down. What the fuck are you doing? Your, your uh, toes probably out back, too. I was the the guy when it came to back. I'd get on my back. This is back in my single days, way back in the day, way yeah. back in the day. Man, I, I remember I just lay on my back and the girls would be like, no, nah, you get on top. I go, trust me. Yeah, right? do your thing. Back, get get a couple out first. <laughs> I'm telling you, when I gave them that back, it was a problem, bro. That's a very a liberal problem. sex position, by yeah. the way. That's giving the woman all the control. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's letting the woman be on top, being Very controlled. vulnerable. That's very That's progressive it. of you, Andrew. Ah. I'm a very progressive guy. You got to let the matriarchy, you know, you got to give them a, a chance. To yes. run the world. That's what it's about. Hop on, girl. Ride it. Well, you got you got to start thinking of some things. You can't enjoy it. That's what you got to do. You got to uh, you got to have like a I'm counting. I'm calculating shit. I'm looking out the window. I'm trying to do everything I possibly. Damn, the counting don't even work. Say what? The counting don't even work. The count counting always work. work dude. Ever since I got Corona, I'm like a little bit Asian, so my count mm. is through the fucking roof. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I, saw, I, saw, I saw Wax do the tub of ice. That's what I thought he was going to tell you to do. He did the tub of ice before. But the tub of ice is actually, that's just one of the transforming places that you go to, like the couch. You know what I'm saying? Then you go to the sink in the bathroom, then, the, the, um, and then they already had the ice and stuff inside the, um, in, the, in the sink. See what I'm saying? So but you used to stand in the ice. No, that's when you take a shit, man. You put your feet in cold water and you take a shit. Why? What? Because all the blood rushes to your feet and then all this right here is loose. I'm like You got like pain in your stomach and stuff like that. You got uh, diarrhea. Only I do is sit on the toilet with cold feet, with uh, cold water, and you good. I'd love to know what you did to fix your Achilles, bro. If that's how you help. help <laughs> I would love to know what backyard medicine you use to fix your fucking Achilles. Yeah, I, yo, the doctor is really happy for me. He was like, man, you came back really like I'm like he said, I'm two and a half weeks early. I'm moving more than anybody else do. So wow. I, I'll be working at home, man. I got the towel. I got the bands. I'll be at home getting it in. Because I'm always okay. thinking that somebody's going to try to beat me up, so I got to help and get back. That's karma, though. That's because he done beat up so many people that he think karma going to come back. Hell and get yeah. I don't know when it's going to be, where it is, but I'm ready. 
Oh, so you think someone's going to try you now that your Achilles is fucked up? No, it's not fucked up now. They come, they already fucked up. You should have did that weeks ago. It's the stomach, though. The stomach is what make people try you. When they see Wax done got a little stomach. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, the gloves bro, are still here, baby. Yo, he just asked for McDonald's <laughs> french fries. Because yeah. uh, I'm starving. I eat all day. My shorty know, not around. Seriously, you got to stop, man, because I was looking at you on the boat. There's a picture of you on the boat, and I thought a manatee washed up. <laughs> <laughs> With a little concern, I was like, yo, they the ones. You ain't see the boot on the foot. Man. You ain't see the boot on the foot. I was, I was already You did gain a lot of weight when you had that boot on, yo. I, I can't run. I was I running a 1,000 yards a day. I was racing pit bulls, bro. And Carla was pregnant. When you pregnant, when your woman is pregnant, you automatically gain weight if you're not taking care of yourself. Listen, I understand That's that. That's why I was running. I think you just didn't want to take care of her anymore. You didn't want to go get her peanut butter jelly sandwiches. <laughs> Fuck it, you cut your own ACL. You're like, I'm tired of this shit. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> nah, it wasn't did. that bad, man. I actually like the whole um, the whole situation. When you have one, you'll see you want to be involved with everything. I thought I was going to want to be away. Yeah, congratulations, man. You pregnant? Nah, but I can't last long. So, yo, I literally... <laughs> I'm like, you'll have one I'm soon. Leave it in because I'm so embarrassed of how quickly I'm fucking coming, dude. It, it's embarrassing, bro. No, man. It's, it's her. Season. I told you this before. It's, it's her. She, just tell her she got that fire, bro. Nah. Hey, that shit works for like two times. And then she'll be like, well, extinguish the fire, yo. <laughs> maybe you at the point in your life where you got to start masturbating before sex. Yeah. That's one thing. Take a little edge off. Oh, I know. I got, oh, I got you. That's good. Okay. That okay. goddamn, okay. that goddamn royal honey pack, bro. Seamoss. Oh, royal Seamoss, honey pack? Yes. That royal honey pack. What's that? Look it up. It's, the FDA discontinued it, but it's a <laughs> VIP. Listen, it's a VIP <laughs> royal honey pack, bro. And you eat it right out the pack like honey. That shit, I have you hard like Rottweiler. Yeah, but something else <laughs> might happen. His hey, nose might grow what? or something. Sure. Rottweiler. What's quick, though, to you? Hold on one second. <laughs> hard like Rottweiler? Rottweiler. Rottweiler. But what is a, why is a Rottweiler hard? I don't know. It's don't from know. Belly, the yeah. movie man. Lennox. Lennox. Lennox, they make you like hard Rottweiler, like Rottweiler. Like, like when the dog's dick comes out like lipstick. Hey, by the way, maybe Lennox wasn't know. saying Rottweiler. I don't, I don't even know what, know what he was saying. was saying. I don't know, but I always say Rot hard like Rottweiler. I always want Rottweiler. Maybe yeah, he wasn't saying, saying that. What he was, I don't know. It's from the movie Belly. You never seen Belly? Yeah. Of course I've seen Belly. I grew up on Belly, bro. No, you grew up on your stomach. On your, belly. on your back. <laughs> you said you grew up on your back, show. No, nah, I got the... <laughs> literally I just told porno, us that. On my porno back. That shit ain't Show us, what's, um, what's coming fast, though? Like, what's your... Honestly, if I wanted to, if I don't do all the calculations and the math and all that kind of stuff, I could. it could be quick. I could probably do it within an Instagram post. You don't even have to go to IGTV. Wow. I wonder if that's like a, um, I if that's a, like a, a like a like a trauma induced behavior. You think maybe I'm like finally like calm and accepting of where I am in life and like a, uh, like my brain is comfortable, isn't. man. Oh, yeah, you're in like, love you're, with her. You're th yeah, you're in love with her, number one, <laughs> yeah. and you're thinking about what's important. So you maybe you're getting performance anxiety that's causing you to goddamn yeah, let I that can shit see that. loose. That happened to me with so Carla, maybe, though. Maybe before Sometimes. I was so stressed with like uh, achievement and success and all these things. And then that was allowing me to last long because I wasn't focused on the task at hand. Mm -hmm. and now I'm like really appreciative. You're comfortable. Of yeah. And all of a sudden, boom. You like, you're this right how pussy pump, really look? Bro. This how pussy really feel? Yes. Yeah, I'm with you. Oh, and you hitting it raw too. Mm -hmm. That was that was that condoms help you. Condom, condoms add at least twenty minutes. At least. She almost told me she's like, "Yo, we might have to go back to condoms." Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She ain't getting yeah. off. She don't want. She don't like this organic <laughs> shit, man. That GMO diet is what's up. Uh, you don't want her to tell you nothing, <laughs> man. <laughs> that organic dick ain't doing it. That I'm serious. That's probably what it is. You probably um, used to wearing condoms, he, he bro. Not eating meat? Huh? You not eating meat now? Nah, I eat meat, bro. Oh. I cut out dessert because once I have dessert, my dick is trash. But if I eat like a nice, I had steak last night. What I about had ginseng? Steak, steak and then a blue chew. I popped a blue chew. Wow. Ginseng, you would see me, bro. Blue chew she didn't work? Me. What would blue, blue chew do? Because I, I fucked earlier in the day and I embarrassed myself. I literally okay. sat there. So you got to get that get back. back. You got to get it back. Bro, I got that get back. Hey. <laughs> hey. Bro, but she didn't know. I popped chew. You can't right? let her know. Popped that chew, and then she didn't see me. And then I laughed at something, and she saw the, the blue in my teeth. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> dessert. You say you should say you, you know dessert. What you, and you know what you tell her? You said, look, if, if, if I'm not cheating, I'm not trying hard enough. 
Yo, let's go. That's, that's it, go. baby. Nothing there wrong with a little performance enhancing drug. It's the Patriot way. By Only the way, men do that shit game. often. It's inflate yeah. gate. <laughs> inflate gate. <laughs> men do that shit often. We do that shit because we want to impress our lady. Why wouldn't you? Yeah, the fact, right. yo, if you didn't give a fuck about nothing fast, I'd be like, damn, that's a bad. Yeah, that's fucked up. You don't care about situation. your girl. Yeah, yeah, now nah, you right about that. Man. And it I is admire, a, I admire those men, bro, who just like here's some jewelry, but then they bust fast. Nah, yeah, that's nah. a lot of rich guys. Because, because even with that, the woman gonna want something that lasts long. You know what I'm saying? They want that. That's why. That's bunny, why they used to come to wax. Like all, all the girls wax. that I was fucking, all their men Are was you doing rich. Foreplay? And we not editing this either. You heard what Carla? I said you heard back it? in the day. Nope. Are you doing foreplay? All those girls nope. I used to fuck nope. their men was nope. rich. You want to act spicy? We gonna put it out. I ain't there. doing spicy. nothing we wrong. We not editing nothing, Carla. Carla, you heard him. Get on with ass, Carla. Spicy, bro. Hey, wax. You acting a little spicy Word right up. now, bro. You can't say nothing either. You got a ring too. I seen Say that. What? Congratulations, man. Oh, yeah. I put the big, I put the <laughs> big rock, bro. Who proposal was better? Wax or Schultz? How did I propose? I forgot, how did I propose, <laughs> too? My, mine was dope. You just, What'd you do, Wax? I say you Listen, I'm going to tell, tell, tell you what I did for real. At all just aside. I remember what you did. I was there. It, we were, it was at SeaWorld and you jumped through the hoop. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> that was me. That was me. <laughs> I said, I'm going to jump through a ring to get you a ring. But but not all just aside. Like, really, that early that morning, I didn't even know I was going to get a ring. I never, I didn't plan this shit or nothing. I went there to go to the mall to go buy a pair of Tim's for the fucking baby shower. And mm -hmm. then when I looked up, I seen the fucking, um, I seen the jewelry store and I with a couple of my guys up like, ah, right, man, fuck it. I'm going to just go do it. And they was just like egging me on to do it. And it was like, I don't know. She was calling me about, oh, everybody acting up all, nothing's happening good for the baby shower. And I'm like, let me go save the day. Just give me a ring. You know what I'm saying? Wax they, stomach had got to the point where he was like, fuck it. <laughs> he was like, nobody going to want to be with me but her. He was looking down. He couldn't see his dick no more. He said, fuck that. It's time to cash in. Nah, I got a little bit That's more stomach fact, for that. bro. You thought that you were getting fat and you need to lock it down. <laughs> That's right. My, listen, listen. She life. really accepted me while I had that boot on. So I had to, you know what I'm saying? Like, she was holding me down. She was pregnant while she was holding me down. I said, listen, she got to get this ring. Mm. Why not? I told him he should have put the Tim. He should have put the ring in the Tim. No. He should have put the ring in the Tim. She got down on one knee. He, and he already had the boot on. So everybody mm -hmm. would have been like, damn, he got one boot. So he'd have pulled out the other boot, told Carla to reach in it, ring would have been there. Boom. Wow. Happy, happily ever after. No, nah, what did I do? Oh, listen, we was opening gifts. We was opening yeah. the gifts and stuff like that. It was like, oh, we got one more gift. Like, she had no idea. She was arguing with me the whole day, yelling yeah. at me because things wasn't happening. Of course, it was my fault. You know what I'm saying? And so they was like, you got one more gift. And I got to hobble over there to the back because they should have just, like, bought mm -hmm. something out. For me, because of my leg. Mm -hmm. So I went inside, came back out with nothing. And she was like, where's the gift? And I just got on my knee. And voila. And I said on my knee, like, it was supposed to be somebody else. Because I didn't even realize I was actually doing that. I was surprised for myself. Yo. I was like, what the fuck are you doing, nigga? What'd you say to her, though? Uh, ready? I ain't even say nothing. <laughs> you didn't say nothing? You just opened it up? <laughs> no, the no, crazy part about it, I did shit. <laughs> nah, the crazy part about it, I didn't even say nothing. I just got on my knee and just smiled at her like I was one of the people looking at this nigga on his knee. You should have got down and <laughs> actually looked at Carla and said, I now know something. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. He always I, say, I don't I know nothing. Know so I know oh, something. I know something Ooh, now. I know something Fire. now. Oh, that would be so cute. I, I told him. You, you ain't tell me. And I, and I called him I before. told him about the Timberland. I said, yo, put it in the Timberland boot. He starts talking crazy. Get down on the knee and say, I know something. <laughs> I, I called him before. That. You could have hit me with that line right before. Come on. I now. told you all of this. You didn't nah, tell me that line. You called me from the jewelry bro. store. You told me about the Tim. Yes, and I say, tell you, <laughs> say I know something. And, and when I said that to him, he said, I don't know nothing. Nah, nah. Uh -uh. Oh, it was good, though. I'm happy fired, I did it. But nothing changed. Did anything change with you? I still get yelled at every day and shit. Is everything still my fault? What for about the, you? Uh, for the ring? Like, how long does the ring last for them to be in a good mood? <laughs> yes. I would say between like 12 and 14 hours. Because <laughs> y'all on the clock now. Y'all can't be the people that's engaged for a year or two. Mm, I know the pandemic's putting a lot of pressure no, on No, don't shit. use that shit as an excuse. Yeah, Vaccine is out here, baby. If you can run around Florida, you can run around a goddamn wedding. 
Yeah, you're right. I'm ready to do it, bro. I'm ready to get married. I'm not worried. Yeah, it's up to her. I a ring, I'm yeah. married. The, for us, the ring is we're married. We already done. Yeah. No, 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 like, no, 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 no. Y'all, y'all on the 50 yard line. <laughs> y'all on the 50 yard line. Y'all got four downs, man. You got to see it all the way through. Nah, it's still bro, up to her. Is, we're married, bro. It's still up to I her. Know, whatever she tell me is a date, I'm going to tell her, no, no, I don't want that date. Whatever the date is, you tell me, I tell my boys and stuff like that, and that's it. Your girls figured all that other shit of shit out. Uh, what the fuck am I do? You can't let your woman plan the wedding, though. Why? Wax can't. Because uh, call a Puerto Rican. So no, she, I'm going to have my sisters in them involved with oh, everything. They okay, was involved okay, with the okay. baby shower and stuff. They talk all the time and stuff. I'm good. You been to a Puerto Rican wedding before, Shows? Uh, I didn't know they got married. <laughs> 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 Just yeah. a bunch of kids. A whole yeah. lot of kids. <laughs> <laughs> I've been through a baby shower. I've been through a food <laughs> pool. <laughs> yeah, a lot of baby showers. <laughs> what about you? You been to one? A Puerto Rican one? Nah. <sighs> Just, nah, I've never been to a Puerto Don't Rican one. Now that I think about it. Mm-hmm. Yo, that's kind of true. That's wild, yo. They don't have they don't have weddings, bro. <laughs> hey, put some respect on Puerto Ricans. Yeah. Nah, <laughs> Alex, Alex, I'm sitting in your studio. This should say black on. I don't see not a drop of Puerto Rican in here. <laughs> yeah, not even a flag. Nothing. That's Asian. Maybe that plant in the background. Plant. <laughs> this is Asian. Oh, you That's sitting on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> <What's that? laughs> it is. Wax pointed to the lights and said, "That's Asian." <laughs> 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 yeah. Stupid. It is. It's not Asian. Listen, what oh, did you see this God. week that made you say positively brilliant? What a fucking idiot, man. What, right now? What did you see this week? Well, honestly, what I saw right now is just us coming to the conclusion about Puerto Rican weddings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm not saying that they don't happen. I'm just saying I've never seen one. Me neither. I've never been to one ever. I think they happen, but they must happen in a different way that we don't know. In Google, jail. Google in jail. Yeah. They have a lot of them in jail. A lot of them in jail? Yeah, they always get married in jail. I've seen a Puerto Rican jail, uh, one in jail. i seen it was on a movie. What? <laughs> what? It was right, on a so movie. i seen a Puerto Rican get married in jail. The girl came. Yeah, i seen that shit. It was Wait, on what? HBO. It's a lawyer. He was a, a black man lawyer. And he got, no, matter of fact, he got the, um, he got the, what's the thing you got to pass? The bar? The bar, yeah. He passed the yeah. bar inside of jail. He started getting all the inmates out, a black dude. And then he had a Puerto Rican guy. He got married to this lady. Wax just made all this shit up on the fly for no reason. He really did. All right, I'm he telling you. Really I'm, I'm going to really get that name for this guy. I forgot his name. It's a black dude with a uh, fro. A black dude with a fro? I think 50 involved with that movie, too. Man, you talking about fucking um, Isaac Wright, man. That's ABC. It's ABC. Yeah, it's a know TV show. Man, you oh, expect me to know life. everything? Yeah, for life. Yeah, for yeah, life. Yeah, so, yeah, Wax, really you got to learn um, a dance, it says. The fuck it says, for the first dance, the bride and groom might choose a traditional Puerto Rican waltz called a danza criolla. See what I'm saying? That's uh-huh. why you got That's why you got to be involved in the planning of the wedding. Yeah, you're, you're right. That type you got to cut that type of shit out. No, you definitely <laughs> doing that. You waltzing. No, no. I don't even know what that is. Waltzing, waltzing, Listen, Carla don't know how to dance like that anyway. She don't know that type of shit. She know how to dance regular. But she don't know how, don't know how to do like lambada or nothing like that. You know how to do it? <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> Is that what's, isn't it called Lombada? I thought it was the La Bumba. Bumba. Oh, La Bumba. I was saying Lombada from Cow Family. I thought you were talking about the goddamn Super Bowl trophy. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. That's what they said. Lombardi. Started. I was like, what? <laughs> he said the old Proud Family. That's why I said Lombada. Yo, Taylor, bro. Lombada sounds so much racist. better to me. <laughs> Taylor, stop being so racist against Puerto Ricans, yo. But I wonder if, um, do Puerto Ricans and blacks get along? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. What? Yeah, the the Minnesota 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 you Puerto Rican too, Evan? No. I'm, uh, I'm sorry. It's Eden, and it's I'm, Eden. I'm sorry. That's okay. I'm Central American. Central. I don't know what that is. Nicaragua. Yeah, me the uh, you're oh, nigger, okay. nigger, no, no. nigger, oh, Nicaragua. Oh, 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 Chill out, bro. Hey, chill out, bro. This is an audio podcast. Right. Go get Andrew in Be like, Andrew got mad diversity hires in here. I got nigger wagrins. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus nah, bro. Christ. I don't even say that country. I just say Eden's from South Mexico. Listen. No, Mexico. Let's talk about how somebody in Schultz's crew got COVID again. Come on. Run it back. Yeah. <laughs> we run <laughs> it back. I have a theory. Brilliant back idiot back, stock tip. Baby. Brilliant idiot stock tip. Whatever right, Schultz tell you not going to happen, bet again. 
<laughs> like, don't worry about it. Everybody will be good. Line, you don't worry baby. about it. Worry about it. <laughs> okay. Yo, they, they said the younger you are, you okay. The Son, younger you are, you okay. Youngest, bro. The kid's 23. Old yeah, month. he might be okay. 23 years old. He's the one with the fat ass that you like, that you stopped the whole podcast to admire. Yeah, with the bun. So why you was calling him flabby? I saw the video. You was calling, I'm like, Mark don't have a flabby ass. No, no, the, the ass is tight, but his midsection, he got to work on a little bit. That's oh, what's getting got you, got you, got you. Corona right now. Corona <laughs> is devouring that man, bro, for the second time around. It won He's like double. six. Now, did he have twice? Symptoms? Did he have, was he asymptomatic before? Yeah, like we're, we actually think he might not have actually had it back in the day. Nope, don't try to move the goalposts. Son. Sorry. If you could move a goalpost, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Do you do you smoke weed though? Do you smoke weed? Say, what, do that? Like if you could? Do he smoke weed? <laughs> Say what? No, not like that. He don't smoke weed because a lot of people that smoke weed they don't get corona. Facts. Yo, whatever people do on the regular, <laughs> they try to say will prevent you from getting corona. Yeah, exactly. Yo, you know if you wear Tim's and yeah. don't tie them up, yo, you won't catch COVID, yo. Or or that a knockout. Like, Either I was. cheat on my girl every Thursday, so that's how I've been COVID-free this entire <laughs> 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 Not for real. I don't think so. You cheat on your girl every Thursday? No way. Oh. Yo, that's crazy, <laughs> Why are you so crazy messy? Right now, bro. What you say, What you say? <laughs> I said, you're acting crazy right now, Wax. Why? Because I said about smoking? Oh, I thought you were talking about cheating on your girl every Thursday. Man. Yo, yo. Yo. <laughs> no, Wax. Listen, Some, no, I'm, I'm going to tell you this is the one thing about her. She has... All my information. She has. She know my location. She know exactly where I'm at right now. That means nothing. That's Wax's a passcode has been one, two, three, four on all his phones for the past. Thank you for telling years. everybody. Charlotte. Who doesn't? But, who can't figure that out? But she knows everything. Charlotte, she, Wax let me go through his phone. I ain't got you nothing see how in he was there. Acting. He just you gave you it to me. You can take my phone. I don't That's have how nothing I know I'm like what in the there fuck? at all. That's good. That's I'm really good. You can take my <laughs> shit. Like I ain't got nothing in there. I, you can take my phone and run with it. I don't give a fuck. Exactly. He don't care no more. You want to see baby pictures? Damn, that's good. Listen, I I, I'm, I am a proud member of the faithful black male community. Yes. I think all men should be faithful. I think it makes your life less stressful. Oh, my gosh. You know what I'm saying? I bet you poor Mark is down there right now. All he got is y'all, no woman. He has, he's married. No, oh, he's, he's married? married. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Oh, she mad as fuck at y'all then. She been told him. <laughs> she been told him stop fucking with y'all and hanging around with no goddamn mask on. She oh, mad as yeah. shit. <laughs> no, she mad as a mother. Yeah, she mad. She, she's using this as a, I told you so. Oh, fucking that's moment. the worst too. Oh my gosh, I told you so. You don't even want to go in the house. That's what that is. I already know it. Oh. Is he good though? I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking got COVID. I can't be calling him and shit. Potassium, man. He need he need bananas, yo. Bananas and milk. Bananas and milk. Bananas and milk. Yeah, potassium and milk like cures a lot of poison. Like if you know somebody who ate poison, something like give them some milk and they like get it out yo, of them. Can somebody explain how Wax's medical history is the same as Rafiki from the fucking? <laughs> 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 just be grabbing whatever's around and making potions and shit. The fuck is that? Man, is it milk? Bro, did 112 of the mixing bugs and weeds? <laughs> Akuna Matata. <laughs> That's all that time down south, though. You gonna pick up some of that shit in Florida, yeah, show? Why? Yeah. It's a I did. I picked up their remedy for Corona. What is it? <laughs> Just keep it moving, bro. Just, just <laughs> what, uh, it. Hey, keep it moving until you can't. That's true, Ouch, bro. Man. Keep it moving until Ouch. you fucking can't. That COVID ain't no goddamn joke. I don't want no problem. I had a guy come to the crib yesterday and test us. And um, and yeah, man, he was like, yeah, bro, sometimes you get it, but it is what it is. We just get it and you keep it moving. You got your antibodies and you use them. That's it. Antibodies only it. last three months. All right, so how long are you supposed to have it? 14 days, that? right? How we know that? I don't know. Science. That's a fact, though. <laughs> Yo, but science has been wrong, bro. Science is definitely wrong. Hell yeah. Sometimes science is wrong. Science is guessing like everybody else. Yeah, nobody 100%. knows. Because everybody, everybody, life is different. Like, everybody eat different shit and smoke different shit. I think they should smoke mm. weed. You know Rush Limbaugh died. You no, he didn't. Yeah, he died today. What'd he die of? Lung cancer. Oh. <laughs> Say what? Lung cancer. 70 years old. Wow. Bro. Yeah, lung cancer. He wasn't smoking weed. You had him on a podcast, didn't you? Well, yeah, we did a uh we did a cross cross show. So we did we you know, because he was with iHeart, so we all did one show together. And he aired uh, it, he aired it on his afternoon show. We aired it um 
on the Breakfast Club. Yeah, I saw it. He had, he came in with the Bluetooth in, right? The Bluetooth? Didn't he have some shit in his ears or whatever like that? Oh, I think I think his hair was fucked up. I mean, Russ was old, man. Russ yeah. was seventy wow. years old. You know, fighting lung fighting lung cancer for mad long. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's why I say, you know, I can't, I can't spike, I can't, I'm not, I'm not spiking the football. I see people celebrating on social media. I'm like, well, that's kind of wild. Like, I, you know, I don't, oh, I don't. 90 something years is kind of good. 70. Oh. Yeah, I'm just saying, I just don't, I, I'm not celebrating death. You know what I mean? It's just like, you know, I'd rather yeah. not say nothing. They might be celebrating his life though. That's a long time, I guess. Because he don't even, Wax don't even know who Rush Limbaugh is. I really don't. People, Wax, I ain't gonna lie to you. Here. But 70 years old. Lung cancer can happen happen to any of us, by the way. That's true. You know what I'm saying? So cancer. You know Rush Limbaugh, bro. No, he don't. No, I thought it was a wrestler for real. Wax thought Eric Holder was Barack Obama. I can't. This is after Barack was in the White House for eight years. Shut up. No, I knew who Barack was, but I I still don't I still don't know who that is. If you could have told me right there, that's the guy that's the mayor from New York, or you could also say that's the guy from the Sopranos. Or you can tell me that's a guy from so much shit from that you can tell me that's Chris Farley, he's older. So you I can't tell you who the fuck so this you, is. So you're saying Rush Limbaugh look like seven different versions of several white He kinda look like Donald Trump. I can't tell you nothing. <laughs> he said Chris right. Farley, <laughs> Do they look like Blasio, you, and one of the Sopranos. Look, look, Jesus look. Christ. Yo, talking about de Blasio and that fucking idiot. Did uh did you see the video of the people dancing and what they're trying to do in New York? They're bringing culture back to the streets. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You see this video, bro? No. What happened? Uh, de Blasio, this schmuck. He's like, what we got to do is keep our city alive and vibrant. The way we're going to do that is by bringing uh dance and culture back to the streets. So they're going to have like live performances throughout the city in just random places in the street. What a fucking idiot. Good First job. of all, that should definitely be under what a fucking idiot category. That's what a fucking idiot. If you want to bring culture back to New York, you just let everybody start being graffiti artists again. You know what I'm saying? Let every like for say 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 fuck it. Let everybody have their spray cans. Tag the city to fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the culture. Yeah. Let the break dancing and I mean break dancing might be kind of played out. That's cool. That's cool though. But let the break dancing and the graffiti come back. Like I don't want to be just driving fucking in New York and see people just randomly dancing in the street for no reason because the Blasio <laughs> yeah, told them to. Ballet and shit. No, man. Yeah. And the people who listening to him ain't gonna really be dancing. They're gonna be corny ass dancing. Bring the culture yeah. back to New York City by motherfucking letting people uh spray paint. Let's spray paint. Do you let find yourself do you find yourself caring more about New York issues now that you're not here no more? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I I honestly I'm just so sad, bro. Like I feel real sad. Like I got people hitting me up all the time and they're just like, "Yo, I'm so fucking depressed here." Miserable. Like I am so like my yeah. mom and shit. Like and I can't move my mom and dad down here because they haven't gotten the vaccine yet because these fucking idiots don't have enough vaccine, so they got to wait to the end of March. So it's like it just sucks, and everybody's just like, "I'm so depressed. You can't do anything. Yeah. Life Dang. is just fucking Fuck. miserable." And that's what happens yeah, when you the got house. these cowards, Cuomo and uh, De Blasio, running a city. Cuomo and De Blasio, two worst Italians in history. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> two worst Italians in history. That guy's Italian. Yo, Italian, no, shut up, man. That, no, that wasn't him, man. even him. Oh. Crazy. <laughs> Why y'all showing me him then? <laughs> Who the fuck is Andrew this guy? Two worst Italians in history. Yeah, that's kind of harsh, bro. Oh, I mean, oh. wait. Two worst Italians in history. You know, when you said that, I don't know why Chris Stefano came to mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why he, he just did. For a second, Chris came. I like Chris, though. Yeah, Chris, cool. But nah, Chris, Chris is a great uh, Italian. I think he's only a quarter Italian. I think he's more like Irish and German now. Oh, he is? Yeah. Yeah. But worst, um, he we just have, we found have to call like Premium Pete. Premium Who's Pete? the top five worst Italians ever? The guys with the uh, pizza stores. They curse you the fuck out for, for nothing. Oh, from uh, <laughs> Do the Right Thing, the pizza store. They, yeah, uh, the pizza guy, the pizza store, Do the Right Lee. Thing. They kill Radio Raheem. Fuck them. <laughs> yeah, I think the cops killed Radio Raheem. Oh, the cops did, but it was up to them. <laughs> you just blamed it on the Italians for no reason. <laughs> the Italians it was in their store. It was in their store. Oh, we don't look the same, don't we? <laughs> I didn't know the Blasio was Italian. Yeah, dude, he's Italian. He's wow. Italian. Schmuck. Fucking idiot. That guy is. Both of them fucking idiots. Killing my city. Listen, well, well, a posit that that is sad though. That's fucked up. And you should get your mom up out of here if she's depressed. Because I'm trying, bro, but you I cannot move her to Florida. You come here, you get corona within 48 hours. It's a guarantee. 
I was having a conversation with an older person who doesn't necessarily believe in the vaccine, but they was like, look, I'm already in my motherfucking 70s. I don't know how much time I got left, and I'm not spending the rest of my time in the house. That shit so, right there puts a lot in perspective, bro. I hear you, but don't. I don't you don't know. want to take it, Rex? What? 100%, bro. And Come my dad's on. never taking a flu gone. shot. I ain't taking none so of that. I, I can't, like, have him out here, like... He has long-term memory. He just doesn't have short-term memory. So yeah. he can live in New York because he knows all the streets and mm -hmm. he knows all the people and he knows everybody in his area. He's fine. But if we take him to a new place, he'll, be lost. he'll never remember. Yeah. He'll just get lost. Yeah. He'll be lost. He'll so be lost. it just sucks, man. Listen. It just sucks. But that's what it is. They don't fucking care. Like the Blasio and like uh, Cuomo and shit, they don't care that they're destroying all these small businesses because they know that people who own small businesses don't vote for them. I think they, they care. I just don't think there's nothing they can do about it. I think the worst thing that ever happened to Open COVID was motherfuckers acted like they knew what the fuck was happening. Like I literally saw Joe Biden say something last night during his town hall that Donald Trump said and got shit for it. What did he say? Well, the parent stood up in the parent. You can add this too, Taylor. The parent was like, yo, my two kids, they, they were young, like, like, kids like eight nine or something like that it's like my two kids are scared to get covid you know what i mean I heard that. and joe was like oh they're fine you know kids don't really get covid like that you know blah okay. blah that's exactly what trump said trump said kids are almost <laughs> immune to covid nah. you know what i'm saying well, they getting it too for sure so it's just like the double standard is crazy because trump got killed for that shit last august joe uh -huh. biden said the same exact thing Oh, but this is how they're this is how they're planning to get everybody to go back to the school and get the kids yeah. to go back to school. The reason that they haven't had it happen just yet is because the teachers union got the Democrats by the balls. So the teachers union is like, no, we don't want the teachers to go back to work. And I understand that for the most part for the older teachers. A lot of teachers are older, yeah, right? Like, yeah, your yeah. mom was a teacher, right, Charla? 100%. So it's like, you don't want to put these people who are at risk in a position to die. Absolutely. But at the same time, I got a lot of friends who are teachers. They could go to work, bro. Because if they're not going to work, they're teaching at home and then they're going out to the bar. They're going to yeah. parties. And that kind of shit. They're going to get Corona over they're there. So a lot girls. of people just try not go to work. I feel more it's, sorry for the kids than the teachers. Because son, like those course. are very pivotal years. My daughter's in seventh grade. Like, you know what I'm bro, saying? Yeah, like I'm, my daughter had to spend half of her sixth grade year at home mm -hmm. and majority of this year at home. You know what yeah. I mean? Like she go to school. When, when it's not an outbreak, because sometimes it'll be like they'll shut it down for two weeks because it was contact tracing shit. Somebody uh -huh. came in close contact. But when, when she's in school, she's there for like two hours. I feel more sorry for them than I do the adults because those are your bro. formative years, bro. Yeah, Middle shit. school, that's yeah. when I learned to snap. Yeah, that's when I learned to get these fucking jokes off. You're going to have a bunch of losers, bro. A bunch of losers. They're going to be a generation of Americans <laughs> that are fucking losers because they never got, they never He's made out with a fucking girl. They never got yeah. social contact. They never had to deal with the awkward stages of their life where they get made fun of and had to learn how to survive. Yeah. Yo, porn like, is probably crazy right now. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's, I'm telling you, bro, it's not, it's not good. You got to get them kids back to school. And then nobody wants to talk about all the parents that, like, they literally cannot work from home and take care of your kid. Taking care of your kid, you guys know that shit's a full-time job. It's a luxury. Bro. It's a luxury. It's Amazing. a luxury to be the parent that can stay home. You know oh, wow. what I mean? Work from home and take care of their kid. Like, it's almost impossible, bro. Wow. That's impossible to do. Yeah, it's so impossible. So a lot of yeah. these parents are like, yo, it's interesting. Uh, Spotify said this shit. I thought this was fascinating. They were like, you can decide as an employee, as long as you get approval from your, like, manager or whatever. But they just said, uh, you can decide to work from home or go to a co-working space or go to the office. And Spotify will pay for the co-working sp space if that's where you want to go. Mm -hmm. And um, they'll do that for indefinitely. Spotify's new like a policy when it comes to their employees. That's dope. And I thought that shit yeah, was good. fire that because a lot of people can't stay home with the kid and get any work done, so they need to leave the house. Yo, that's a great that's a great um, concept, and I don't know if other corporations are doing that, but if you are one of these multi billion dollar corporations, look out for your fucking employees, bro. Yeah. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the least you can do. Look out for your motherfucking employees so your employees don't have to stay home. That's going to be the other crazy part once this whole shit is over, though. It's just like, do we even need brick and mortar anymore? Son, for a lot of these places, no. Nah. Nah. School is necessary, though, man, because kids are already oh, going to be socially that. awkward because of fucking the phones yeah. and all of that shit up. like that. Yeah. Now they online over Zoom and like... My daughter been on her phone more than ever now, and it's been it's been frustrating me because I don't like her to be on her phone like that. But she literally is like, yo, how else am I supposed to see my friends? I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah, He's not right. going to anyone's houses at all? Hell no. no. 
Okay. So I want to take my son fishing and all that type of stuff. Like you got to really be active with your family. You, you got to. You have to take him out. You have to do certain things. You got to. They're already bad. Do your kids watch? Go on YouTube and watch other kids play. My my five year old loves uh, Ryan that is and his so family. Weird. You know Ryan. Ryan's the like Ryan? the Ryan's like the little I think he's Asian or something. He plays with like all the little toys. Toys, yeah. My son did, did that too. Five years he old, she'd be though. all in the Ryan, bro. Yeah, he got it. He's Ryan, like, he does uh, boxing or unboxing or whatever. He like opens he just the plays toys. with toys uh -huh. and shitting on everybody. I'm talking YouTube. about millions of fucking ain't views, nobody bro. fucking with Ryan's views. There's not yeah. a rapper alive, a comedian alive with a bigger YouTube presence than Ryan mm. in Ryan's world. Imagine if I get Ryan who's wax. Let's Why start a beef. By the way, Ryan, your dad, tell your dad stay out the fucking camera, yo. Your dad, yeah, your dad yeah. wants to be hey, famous, dad. Ryan. I see or, your dad. I can't remember his name right now, but y'all look famous. just alike. He's already famous. No, Ryan, Ryan famous. I don't know, I don't know his dad's name. I just know that's Ryan's dad. That's Ryan's dad. Yeah, but he gotta stay out the fucking camera, yo. Ryan's dad is famous. I seen Ryan's dad a lot too. I see what you're saying, though. Yeah, he be in the yeah, camera all the time. Out the way. I, I see what you're the saying. Fuck out the way, you weirdo. They really here for this guy. So what are you trying to show your feet Word and shit up. like that? My son don't want to see that shit, bro. I kind of thought that, but it's just like, nah. I'm happy you said it. Okay. You're trying to outshine Ryan. Then he be wearing like little costumes, like he role playing and shit. Mm. And he be breaking the fourth <laughs> wall, talking to the kids and shit. I'm like, I, I don't look like at it like shit. that, but I see what you're saying. Yeah, Ryan's dad's a little weird, bro. Can I ask you a question? He wants a little though? shine, bro. Do you He's like Taylor. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> T. Diddy. T. Diddy, bro. Serious question. Do you guys think that it's taking away from kids being like creative? Because they're looking at someone else being creative. Like, so why can they create that like their own little toy little ideas their own? No, I don't think it takes away from people's creativity. I think it inspires the kids. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I think anytime you see something that you want to do, it just in, it just inspires you to want to do your own thing. I don't think it takes away but, from their creativity. Playing with toys isn't creative. Yeah, he's making a story though. They, they go on less places though. I don't see what you're saying, but it's like their whole life they they getting less of. Only thing they got is just the computer. We did everything. Yeah. We learned how to run, fight. We did yeah. everything. We know how to talk to girls and everything. <laughs> exactly though. Yeah. Like, it's, just, it's not good, man. It's I definitely not good. Generation yeah. of kids. This is uh this is not not fucking good yeah. at all. They man. already so missed one year. Them. They about to miss but, a whole another one. School almost over. That's the question. At what point do you start going, all right, we got to let the kids go back to school. We got to open up restaurants. We got to get back to normal. That's going to kill the parents, though. Ugh. Say, no, but I'm saying, like, we got we to gotta get as close as we can back to normal while being safe. But we just have to accept that this is part of life and yeah. this is the risk of life. But we can't just stay locked in the fucking cupboard for the rest of existence. Yeah, I mean, this, these shaky regulations are nuts, right? Because even when you look at what's going on in Atlanta, you know, you know Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms, who I think mm. she has the perfect name for Atlanta, by the way. Her last <laughs> name is perfect for Atlanta. But mm. it's like, like now she's saying that, you know, they want the all-star game, but they don't want the parties and all of this type of shit. And I'm like, Atlanta on, been God. wide open. Been I'm wide like, open. Like, if you was going to try to regulate Atlanta, you should have tried to regulate Atlanta months ago. You like, know what it is? They don't want the criticism. They're cool with all the parties and shit happening right now because all the heat is going to Florida. Atlanta yes. has been living, like Georgia has been living scot-free with their time. lax COVID like regulations. Florida. Not not Atlanta because works. everybody talks about Florida. You know yes. what I mean? Yeah. Yes. So it's like, it's like, it's like uh, in the same way how like the mafia, I, I didn't want to say the mafia acted with impunity in Philadelphia, but like there was less scrutiny of the mafia in like Philadelphia and, and the Rhode Island area because everybody was focused on the mafia in New York. And I think that's what's happened in Florida. Everybody's like, yo, Florida's so crazy. And then Atlanta is just right up the block. And they're like, oh, they're not talking about us? All that, right, bet. We're that's, keep a, doing what we're doing. that's a great point. And you know why that's a great point? Because the NBA All-Star Game will bring much nat national attention to Atlanta. So when the mm. national attention comes, then people start paying attention to the fact like, yo, Atlanta been wide been open. Been wide yep. open. Because if you're on social media, of course, you see all the rappers and athletes and stuff. They be in the clubs already in Atlanta. But now with the mm. NBA All-Star Game, it brings a whole new set of eyeballs to it. But and you got Democratic leadership, and then all of a sudden the Democrats that want the lockdown are gonna start putting pressure on Democratic leadership. Well, it's to both. Lock it down. Say what? It's both, because you got Republican leadership, that's the governor. Brian Kemp is like, fuck it. Ball to the wall. Open for business. And yeah, and Keisha Lance Bottoms, the mayor in Atlanta. I mean, I don't know how much she can regulate things, but it's just like, yo, the NBA All-Star game was supposed to be in Indiana. Clearly, somebody mm -hmm. in the NBA saw Atlanta and said, this shit wide the fuck open. We can't Let's go to go. Florida. We'll get too much shit. Let's go mm -hmm. to Atlanta. 
And Braun is like, fuck that. I don't want to go. Let me tell you something. The politicians, they got to take all the smoke for these decisions. But the business people in Florida are so grateful Yes. For New York being locked down, bro. Yes. Like, I, I have conversations with motherfuckers that like own the clubs and shit out here. Uh-huh. They're like, I cannot tell you how happy. <laughs> That's a relief. They, I, please, Cuomo, keep everything locked down. Please, De Blasio, keep everything locked down because they're making millions, tens of millions of dollars. New hotels going up, new apartment complexes going up, everything being bought up. You can't find a house down here in Florida. The real estate market insane. Yeah, Jersey, so they're making man. so much money on everybody in the entire world moving here. Fuck that. Yo, what about prostitution? Like, you know, everybody, all the girls go to the all star game. Who's fucking the girl during COVID? Are you gonna really pay for COVID? And how many people did she already fuck? It's kind of wild. Uh, well, That's I mean, no, like the is... ultimate super spreader for real. Cause yep. she. It, come on no i can't see to the sex workers not trying to no no I, stereotype I you, y'all but, but come on covid ain't the disease i'm worried about when i'm fucking a prostitute i don't you know it's a, it's a plethora of other things that could exist within this body yeah, yeah. covid goes away they might be immune to it because the covid probably the std probably could push that covid out the way <laughs> they probably ain't got stds what am i even saying <laughs> what it do feel like that, though. For the past year and some change, COVID has been the disease that gets top billing over everything. Oh, yeah. Now, now, now that they got that prick test, only you want to smash a girl, put, do the prick test, you got 15 minutes that we can have sex. Because that's really something you got to think about, y'all. Man, what? You want to kiss what? somebody and smash a girl and she might have COVID? That's kind of wild. It's wild if you uh, get a COVID test with a girl, she's negative, but then you still have unprotected sex with her. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of wild, too. That's that, disgusting. That, that is... <laughs> but wax don't give a fuck. Wax nah, recycles condoms. No, no, no. That's back in the day. <laughs> back, yeah. back in the day, you used to recycle condoms? That's, I ain't recycling. I don't even know what the hell. That shit was in the fucking water. That shit was what? going. How I recycle it? It was Daddy in the water. finally telling the truth. What I'm glad he finally telling the truth. I've never told that part of the story, but I'm it glad he finally telling the truth. I threw it in the water. No, that long ago. This motherfucker couldn't find no condom, and it was a condom floating in the water. No, no. And this motherfucker <laughs> took the condom out of the water, out of the ocean. We was in Jamaica, and he put the condom on. I'm glad no. he's fucking finally telling the truth, yo. I, I was just. Something. I never wanted to say nothing because I just thought that was the most disgusting thing I ever heard in my life. But this I motherfucker, found one, I just threw it in the water for no reason. Oh, this reasons. motherfucker's a savage like Fenty There's Beauty, nothing. bro. That is that nigga, this nigga was nasty. <laughs> Ew. Hold on, back you just day. found a condom in the water. In no, the water. This is back in the day anyway. Someone obviously used. No. <laughs> in Jamaica. <laughs> in Jamaica. <laughs> This is wild days back in the day. And I didn't do that, though. That's He's out of control. a liar. I did not. He's a liar. You, when you said it, probably, it was going down. I don't know how far he was down. More, it's back in the day, then it didn't happen, though. So. No, listen. I'm going to tell you. When he said it probably was down the water, I was always at the top of the water. So if you've seen it fly, p- floating past. That's when I threw that tampon in the water, and that shit expanded. <laughs> that shit expanded, right? <laughs> And this guy was walking uh, on the beach and he jumped because he thought it was a stingray because he had the whole tail hanging from But that's kind of nasty. A period or raw sex? That's kind of crazy. A period? What do you mean? It's Have not as crazy as taking out? a condom out the water and putting the condom on. Uh, taking a camp out of the girl? That's, that's worse. All right. What a fucking idiot. Um, Trump, <laughs> Trump, Trump got acquitted again. Teflon Don, bro. I didn't think he was going to get of course not. Come on. charged with nothing. So w- you can't lock up a president. It's just not how it is. Like it's Nixon didn't Trump get locked either. up. No, he got oh, too much I'll power. I'll tell you this. Ari Melbler had the hardest line. And I don't know if this was his line. I heard him say it, though. He said that an attempted uh, uh, insurrection, attempted coup with no consequences is just a training exercise. And I believe that. Mm. Because somebody's going to come along that's smarter and actually saw the holes in Trump's fucking execution, and they're going to do a better job than he did. I honestly, I'm a little offended that you're insulting our coup, and we tried our hardest, you know what I mean? And we put our best foot forward to save our country, Charlemagne, and for you to call it unsuccessful is very insulting, okay? It was not successful at all. Um, did you see the Meek Mill Takashi 6 9 video? Oh, my gosh. Yo, it's so funny, bro, because both (laughs) those guys need each other so bad. Explain. Yeah, I don't get it. Go ahead. I mean, they're just both not hot right now, right? And Takashi, the way I was saying on Flagrant is like, Takashi's a sale, right? Like, 
a sale is nothing without wind. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So like, but okay. if you have a lot of wind, a sale could take you wherever the fuck you want to go. Right. So Takashi's wind is beef. He needs beef and he's excellent at beef. He's really funny when it comes to the beef. And if he's beefing with someone, he could lean in and generate a lot of interest. But if, but if nobody's beefing with him, he can't generate interest. And now the thing is, once he's been exposed as not street, if he calls out a street dude, a street dude doesn't have to answer to him because he knows he's not street. He's a, a street dude, I imagine, only has to answer to another street dude. Yeah. Right? Like, if I, I don't know the exact code, but I imagine, like, if you're a street dude and another street dude calls you out, to protect your reputation, you got to be like, nah, fuck you. What's up? It's on site. Let's do something. But if a cornball calls you out, that's like mm. working with the feds, you don't got to respond to him. You're supposed to brush him off. Yeah. Exactly, right? Like, yeah, I, see I like the sale analogy, but I think the difference now um, is, is, you know, sales don't just need wind. They need water. I think, yeah. I think music was Takashi's water because, you know, prior to him getting locked up, when he was beefing with everybody, he also had records that was out here charting and all types mm -hmm. of shit. You know, that was his other thing. He's always Another record one. charting. Number you know one. what I mean? Yeah. Now without the music, it's like, what is this? You know what I mean? You just a boat in the desert with the wind blowing. You you it's burning man. You dried up. You know what I'm saying? It's like an I'm serious. It's like an abandoned boat in the desert. It's like, oh, that's cool. But yeah. how cool really is a boat in the desert? That's a rat yeah, too. Yeah, dude. Yeah, it's true, man. It's just it's kind of sad to see, dude, because he like tatted up his whole fucking body. And, <laughs> yeah. Like he really committed to this role, you know, you know, like when actors like lose a lot of weight for a role. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like he really went 100 percent in on this role. And now there's no longer a vehicle for this role. So he just got to think it's over for him, though. You think it's Say over what? for him? You think it's over for him? I mean, yeah, it, I think it's over for him as like a gangster rapper. Like, I think he's so funny that he could find a way to just be Something. like funny Something on the internet. Like but he's got to change. He's got to change what he's doing. Yeah, I mean, for me, man, and I've said Skittles. this a million times, I six nine needs to change for himself. Mm. Fuck, fuck the artistry and his professional yeah. career as a human being. Like, yo, bro, you got a daughter. Like, you're young. Like, God has spared you. The universe has spared you. Yeah. You know what I mean? We all knew that what he was doing was going to lead him to jail or, or death. You already been to jail. So it's like, now what? And it's yeah. just like, it's almost comical, right? And it's not almost comical. It is comical for him to run up on somebody and clown them for being with security and police. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like when you see somebody doing that it's just like yo let me walk away from that. let me like i, I really yeah. don't know what people wanted meek to do in that situation it's like meek did what he was supposed to do yeah. walk away this guy's yeah. crazy yeah you're trying you know to get me locked up get the get that motherfucker the fuck away from me it's weird it's like a guy it's, yo it's like when you wax says this shit and the shit is true if you about to fight somebody and the person gets naked <laughs> Nothing to fight about, bro. Come like, on. like, I'm like, let him have it. Like, he's gone. Like, he's gone. Let him have it. So when a guy <laughs> runs up on you, which you gotta to, fight fire with fire, bro. <laughs> no, no. When a guy <laughs> runs up on you, that's a fire known federal fire. informant, and he's got oh. his own security, but he's calling Charlie you man. pussy and telling you that you with cops. Leave that alone. Yeah, Charlemagne. If if a dude is trying to fight you and he gets naked, you got to get more naked. <laughs> Nah. Now you, you gotta threaten get him. more naked. Now you threaten them, threatening them with a good time. Yeah, but now you gotta even threaten them with a better time than that. Okay, you gotta get more naked, and then you start shaving your pubes right in front of him. All, dog. all right. What if you get naked, you start shaving your pubes, and you notice his dick getting hard as shit? <laughs> well, then you know what you do. You better you tuck your dick between your legs. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Yeah, and be like, I'll show you, pussy. <laughs> And then you run? <laughs> when do you run? <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. He was hard because he was looking at your naked dick. Ooh. Now you made a pussy, he gonna start getting soft. Mm. What if he doesn't? Yeah. What if he doesn't? Now, if, if he doesn't, he, what if you tuck your dick between his legs and he goes, <laughs> perfect. Oh, shit. <laughs> Birdman hand rub. Put some respect oh, on that dick. Fuck. No, he yeah, said, I'm gonna put some respect on that tuck. <laughs> what, if the, what if that happens? What do you do? What do you do then? <laughs> if he starts going, if he starts rubbing his hands like this, and I'm sitting there with my dick mashed between my thighs, so it creates a vagina-like structure from the front. 
You're saying, what do I do? Yes. If he's rubbing his hands like that? That's right. I slowly put on my clothes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I what couldn't out crazy, hey, bro. What if you started putting on your clothes? Hey, what if you started putting on your clothes? He goes, no, no. You threatened me with a good time. Let's follow through. <laughs> I'm going to have to have my time. <laughs> I'd like to reclaim my time. I, what I, if he hits you with one of them? <laughs> Hey, I'm serious. I really don't know what people wanted Meek Mill to do in that situation. Nah, he did it and right. I'm going to tell you something else. Takashi 6 9 security, they should lose their license. And I'll tell you why. Security mm. is not goons. Nah, mm. You know what I'm saying? You ain't way. supposed to be able to tell your security, let's go run down on this dude. Y'all about to go run up on this dude with my camera. Like, ain't no fucking show. Exactly. Se wrong with security's there for defense. Get out the way. Not offense. That's interesting. Yeah, you can't hi hiring people to assault somebody is uh, a crime. I would think so, especially oh, if you're God, a security make sure, company. Make sure they get home to the kids. That's it. The fuck are you doing? Anything could have happened. What if what if Mika had one of his dudes that you know want to show him something? Like, yo, I kill anybody for you. That would have been something he thought that Mika would like. What if he had hit uh, Chikashi up? And 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 by the way, if the story that Mika told is true, when Mika said that Six Nine jumped out on him. His security had every right to shoot first, ask questions later. We don't know nothing. Oh. That's I mean, that's what, for. that's what Takashi would want more than anything. I think he's yeah. crazy enough to want to get shot. Not killed, but I think he is I think he is addicted to attention. That'll bring him back. That he would want to get shot because there'd be so much gravity around that. Yeah. Yeah. That'd bring him back. Remember, there was some New York rapper that like paid for him to, to get shot, right? 50? Paid for himself to get shot. Oh. Uh, I don't know. I remember. I remember when Gravy got Legend. shot. Salute the Gravy. They said it was a publicity stunt. The guy who played Biggie. Yeah. Yeah. I remember when he got shot. They said it was a publicity stunt because he walked into Hot 97 Studios and still did the interview or some shit like that. After getting shot. Yeah. That was a different era though. That was when the Super Thug era was really in. Yeah. That's when when you. That's when you would. That's when you would like try to be the hardest person on the planet. Like you get shot and still go do an interview. It's like no, you're bleeding. Come on, bro. Like, yeah. Like, like you could die right now. Like, go take care of this, man. And now it's like, who got the best manicure? I don't know <laughs> what it's about now. Like, I'm telling you, the streets know. are too complicated. I don't bro. get it. Like, I, I'm so happy I'm not in the streets no more because I don't even understand the rules of engagement anymore. Yeah, let them have it. Like, even with the, like I said, with the Meek 6 9 shit, I'm like, what did y'all want Meek to do? Is Meek supposed to pull out a pistol and start, like, Shall firing off of the security? Yeah. Like, yeah. What is he supposed to do? I didn't oh, get no. what they wanted. And 6 9 calling you pussy is just like, all right, man, you got it. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, like he you he got better not it. have lost no sleep over that dumb shit. Like, I, like that shit would not have bothered me at all. Nah. Like, I'd be like, yo, this guy's crazy. What's up with me? The, the worst part about that whole situation, none of them had on mask. All right. <laughs> now, it I didn't see not one mask. Friendly? You said what? It wasn't COVID friendly. I didn't see not one mask. The motherfuckers was just spitting all over each other. Yeah. Ma matter of fact, six nine said Meek actually spit on him. <laughs> and if I'm oh, Meek, really? yes, six nine said. Well, no, Meek said he spit on six nine. That's what he said. Which, right. by the way, is an assault charge uh -uh. in a lot of different states. It should be. I was thinking about that. Like, I'd rather somebody uh, slap me than spit on me. That's uh, crazy. You know, spit on me, especially in the era of COVID. Spit weird though for a smack. Smack is kind of harsh. <laughs> you spit on you spit on my leg and my and my fucking tell I'll be okay. You rather get smacked on the ass by no? By, you I don't. Stick? No, listen. I'm listen, just saying you get smacked in the face. Listen, that smack in the face will really change your life. But you like to sag, so would you rather sit? I don't sag. Smack you on your ass or spit on you? He won't have teeth. He won't have teeth. But no, I'm just saying which one though. If you had to choose one. He ain't. He won't have teeth for neither one. No, man. You gotta just choose one. Listen, what he gotta do? Smack you on the ass. Why you sagging? Or spit on you. Spit on me. You rather spit on you. Yes. yes. What would you rather? What would you rather, Wax? Come on. Somebody give you. What is it called? What is it called when you? Uh, all right. Somebody give you a wet willy. Do you know what a wet willy is? When they lick their finger and put it in yes. your butthole. Oh yeah. They God. lick their finger and then they stick it in your butthole. Somebody give you a wet willy in your butthole. Yeah. All okay. Right. Shot. You call that a wet willy Wonka because of the chocolate that comes out. With you. <laughs> Put your finger out. That's a wet Willy Wonka. Why? <laughs> shot. That's one shot. Oh, that's good.
<laughs> with the four or five. Keep going. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> So, I got nothing else. <laughs> I got nothing you, else. Said, you said the would wet willy rather, and what? Would you rather a wet willy wonka? Mm-hmm. Max, would you rather a wet willy wonka? Uh-huh. Okay. Or or a kiss on the cheek. <laughs> By who? <laughs> six nine. Six nine, bro. You want him to hit you knock his ass the fuck out. Or but do you want to just kiss you on the cheek for two seconds? Like I, that. what you mean? Hold okay, on. listen, listen. You I'm, get. I, I can tell you, it's different. You, you get to knock him out. All right. Whatever he Talk does, you me. get to knock him out. Okay. But what would you choose? But when he kisses you on the cheek, a little bit of his lips <laughs> touch oh your lips. God. Like when I, that I'm, I'm gonna tell you this right now because I, I, you know, I'm the Puerto Rican culture <laughs> and stuff like that. Everybody, mwah, mwah, they do the kisses and shit like that. And I yelled at my girl, "Fuck this guy over here, kiss you!" Like that's what everybody do. That's poppy, pocky, locky. You got mad at that? I don't know about that type of shit. Poppy. No, I ain't kiss poppy. I'm just saying, everybody, mwah, mwah, you know what I'm saying? So if he do it like a poppy kiss mwah, on the side of the cheek, because, I mean, they, I don't know how it goes. This I don't is know how good, to do man. So Wax getting on, progressive, wait, wait, yo. Yeah, wait, hold on. So, Wax crazy kissing you on the cheek. No, it's just like, I don't even know how to do it exactly, so I just try to stay right. out the way. I'm just this? like, yo, what yo. About this? There's <laughs> a man hey, right? in Carla's life that Wax respects that he's letting him kiss him on the cheek. This is what he's yo, preparing like us for. He's preparing us for when the picture comes out. With him kissing the Puerto Rican guy, we I know what it is. I keep my head like this. He has a brother. She got a brother? Yeah. It's more like this. It's different. I, what's what about Juan's name? Why they do it like that? <laughs> what's he Juan's kisses name? You. He kisses you. Do y'all do it? What's your name again? Aaron? Aaron. <laughs> my fault, bro. I'm so dumb. Because I know. I know. It's just dumb. It's retarded. I'm listening to Charlotte Bay. Do y'all, do y'all do the kiss shit in your family? Nah, we don't do it. Okay. <laughs> Call his brother kiss right. you, yo? No, man. <laughs> <laughs> something right there. Something happening that we don't know about. Why is he trying to prepare I'm for trying something? I'm trying to figure it out. Like, Tell us the truth. You've never seen that before. Come on. That's a, I thought Italians did that. I didn't know Puerto Ricans did that. Yeah. Come on, man. You better tell Spanish people do that. Yeah, Spanish people do that. It's very normal, Wax. It's, it's very normal. Exactly. But what I'm okay. wondering is, Bro. what if when he went to do that kiss, right, a little bit of your lip touched his lip, and then oh and then he just went like this. He just went like this. He went, he went... <laughs> And then he just, he just, he just, he just, he just, he just, just kind of nibbled your lip with his lip a Can little bit. Can I ask you bit. a question? Yeah. What, what am I getting out of this? And like, what is this for? What if 6 9 did that to Wax, but then whispered in his ear like Caesar whispered to his owner and was like, I was going to ask you to suck my dick. <laughs> 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 Y'all must want this nigga dead for real. <laughs> y'all, y'all don't like him at all. That's what okay. that's what happened with Meek Miller six nine. Or he gave you that wet willy bonk. That ain't happening. You know six nine is suing Meek for assault. Is he really? Because of the spit. That's so corny, man. Come on. Yeah, man. and Meek's lawyer, Meek's lawyer said, "Nope, uh, Your Honor, this man told my client to suck his dick, and so my client spit on him as a warm up." <laughs> 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 hey, I'm gonna be like this motherfucker really pussy, man. What the fuck is wrong with this nigga? You gotta do what you gotta do to win a case, bro. Okay, That's you gotta fact. say what you gotta say to win a case, bro. He was complying, bro. But I, I just I do want to tell everybody. Moral of the story is don't be afraid to walk away. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, man. Because you won't. You don't. Meek, Meek wouldn't have got no stripes from doing anything to Takashi Six Nine, bro. And Six Nine for whatever reason clearly don't got nothing to lose. He don't even give a fuck no more. Yeah. That's a dangerous. That's a dangerous person to be dealing with. Yeah, he yeah. want to get shot, like you said. I just want. I do want six nine. I do want him to like get his life together for him, though. He should be like do a bunk doing. You see the guy bunk. He got yes, know. man. That's what he should do, man. Got Positively saved. brilliant bunk, man. Bunk. God damn, we don't bunk. get bunk enough credit. What's his name? Bunk. Bunk. Bunk, bunk choice or something. Bunk like gang. Bunk gang. On Gabbana. We don't give Bunk enough credit. Yeah, man. And the reason we don't give Bunk enough credit is because we 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 gave Bunk a lot of shit when he was wilding. Something Bunk had an awakening in his life. I saw Bunk getting baptized the other yeah, day. Yeah, me man. too. Yep. That's why I said I his name. Yeah, that's what he need to do. I respect yeah. Bunk, yo. He's... We were somewhere and I saw Bunk and he was trying to speak to me. And I, I remember. Was... Yeah. Did I speak to him? Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, I think I did speak to him. Yeah, it was cool. But I, I'm glad yeah. to see a brother like that. Get his life together. Total 360, man. Total, but th- that's good. No, that's it's not great. a 360. It's a 180. What's it? What, 180, what? bro. Oh, well, yeah, 180. It's all know. the way back around, bro. <laughs> all the way back around to the beginning. 360 with me, he's still doing his same shit, bro. I want to see 6 oh, 9 whack, whack. 
<laughs> Wax, you gotta chill out, bro. Wax, you gotta... <laughs> I was telling, I was telling, uh, I want to, I want to see Six Nine do a bunk though. I was telling yes. Taylor earlier about a uh, Three Sixty. I was talking about this club called Three Sixty. Uh huh. When Wax got chased out of the club back in the day, because you crazy as hell. Shout again. out, to, shout out to Tammy for everybody out there that's listening to the We Talk Back podcast. Hey, you know what I'm saying with with Ashley and Tammy. Yeah. Make sure y'all go subscribe to that on the Black Effect iHeart Radio podcast. That network. was a crazy, crazy, crazy <laughs> night, man. Charlie well, ain't shit, bro. <laughs> what do you mean? You know you ain't shit, and I told you don't pull in that fucking Wax parking was lot. Wilding, bro. Wax I told was you wilding, not pull in the parking Wax lot. Was wilding. Wax was wilding. He needed a little acro. <laughs> Man, he was wilding, man. He was in the what club, in the club, trying to give people wet Willy Wonkers, man. You know what I'm saying? That used to be Wax thing. Wax used to be the wedgie king. And, and, you were giving people wedgies. Yeah, that, that was definitely my thing. But I got chased out of the place, and by five, six girls, they chased me all through the parking lot, trying to beat my ass. Charlemagne in the truck pulls up in the truck. <laughs> Soon as I get to the truck, all the girls on me. I'm trying to get in. Charlotte ain't locked the fucking door. See what Wax don't know. I walked in the club. I already set this shit to fuck up. Why? I asked you before we went in there. So, I, so Tammy was working the bar. I'm telling Tammy y'all types of shit. I'm like, look at this motherfucker, yo. He's disrespectful. You should hear the shit he be saying about you. <laughs> fucking me up. <laughs> told her, told the girl that I, I bought another girl a red dress and all this yes, dumbass shit. I'm like, shit. look at him. He just in here talking to all type of girls. He don't give a fuck. <laughs> Why you saying so like that? I slip out. Because I, I saw Tam, she got hot, took a couple shots. She's like, I'm going to fix this motherfucker. Fuck this. She, I saw her tapping her girls, rounding her girls up. I said, oh, shit. We got action. So I saw her. I come out the bathroom. <laughs> so, so, so I go to the car. I text Wax like, yo, I'm in the car. About two minutes later, I see him flying out. <laughs> he running. Hauling ass like he's racing a pit bull. Bunch of women chasing behind him, right? He's oh running towards gosh. the truck. I said, now this way is about to be good. <laughs> unbeknownst to him, I had the doors locked on purpose. <laughs> so when he got to that door, you ever seen Mike Epps getting chased by Lady of Rage in Friday After Next? That's how Wax was around the car the whole fucking <laughs> <laughs> Yo, listen. These, listen, these country girls had some, they hit hard. Hitting all you hear, pop, pop. These, they, these, pop, pop. these is cornbread, rice-eating girls with gravy. Listen, people was in the parking lot ducking. Because every time Wax got hit, it sounded like a gunshot. Pow, pow. Yo, I'm pow, ducking pow. these girls. I'm playing so football all the time, so I'm, I'm easy. Who? You knew to drive that day. I, man, listen, we was in the country. Man. We, knew to go. we knew where the action was. <laughs> we, knew where to, we, we knew where to go to get the action. Okay? Like I, said, I asked him right before we pulled in the parking lot. I'm like, man, come on, man. I know ain't nobody here. Come on. He's like, nah, nah. I ain't here. I was ain't here nobody earlier. here. He said, I was here earlier. <laughs> I want Tammy to tell her side of the story on the We Talk Back yes. podcast on the Black Effect iHeartRadio podcast network. Taylor, you have to remind her to tell that. I story. will. I'm gonna get this clip. I want. I want. I want. I want her side of this story if she remembers that night at all. <laughs> what was the like resolution? <laughs> what you mean? What was the resolution? I ain't got nothing to do with this. The resolution was they got tired. <laughs> <laughs> You know how somebody be beating on somebody so much and chasing somebody that they just got tired? No, I ran to the corner. I ran to the top of the corner, man. I ran basically to the road. The fucking highway right there. And then I pulled up and picked them up from the road. Yo, you ain't Fuck. shit as a friend. I couldn't see no more. I was I couldn't see because he was running around the car. So it was, I was, you know, I was stretching my it neck trying to fun. see. Huh? It wasn't fun anymore. Nah, it wasn't fun no more. 20 years ago, baby. <laughs> Who you talking about? Who you talking to? Who's baby? Carla. <laughs> I don't know if you're talking to Carla, his brother, at this point. Man, stop. You kissing both of them. <laughs> they got you going crazy in that Puerto Rican household, stop. man. Let's pay some bills, man. <laughs> and then I want to come back and talk about uh, Lil Boosie's comments on Lori Harvey, because I think that think I think people need a, a quick lesson on 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 um that no one gives a fuck about Boosie. On women's and guys' whole facts. All right, this episode of The Burian Idiots is sponsored by Blue Chew. Say it with us, Blue Chew. You just heard how, you know, last night Blue Chew cha saved Andrew Schultz's life. He's Amen. been premature ejaculating. Um, he premature ejaculated early in the day. He decided to pop a Blue Chew later on to get some get back. Mm -hmm. And his wife is satisfied, you know what I'm saying? Blue Chew is making waves and bringing more confidence to the bedroom by offering chewable tablets that can help men get stronger and have longer lasting 
Erections. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable form and at a fraction of the cost. Blue Chew's tablets help men achieve harder, stronger erections to combat all forms of ED, which is erectile dysfunction. Okay, Blue Chew is an online prescription service, so no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. And it ships right to your door in a discreet package. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com. Consult with one of their licensed medical providers. And once you're approved, you'll receive your prescriptions within days. The best part, it's all done online. Blue Chew's licensed medical providers work with you to find the right ingredient and script for your prescription. Don't like swallowing pills? No problems here. Blue Chill's Sildenafil and Tadalafil tablets are chewable. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA, and they prepare and ship direct, so it's cheaper than a pharmacy. So if you could benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform, visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code IDIOTS at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com, promo code IDIOTS to receive your first month free. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. So right now, we got another sponsor, too. Cushy dreams. How many of y'all out there like CBD, huh? We all know 2020 was a rough year and a hard time to keep your head in a good place. That's why our friends at Cushy Dreams have been able to help, okay? Cushy Dreams specializes in high-quality, smokable CBD. CBD has been shown to help with anxiety, depression, even pain relief, fighting inflammation, and more. Cushy Dreams Extraordinary CBD Rich Hemp Flower comes in one-eighth ounce cans and pre-roll joints. It is cannabis that ships directly to you, directly to all 50 states. They offer specific indigo and sativa strains that deliver desired effects, relax, create, hustle, peace, energy, and dream. I personally like Cushy Dreams. You know what I'm saying? Whenever I don't want the THC and I don't want to get high, Cushy Dreams is good for me, especially for my anxiety, and it helps me to sleep, okay? Cushy Dreams has a great new flower that just arrived, too. Thanks to a fresh harvest, they have eighths of their best indigo, indoor indigos and sativas with their ultra-premium line. As always, they have full grand pre-rolls. What's new is Five packs of half gram pre rolls. Mm -hmm. We know you're sick of carts, vapes, gummies, and want to smoke your CBD. Enjoy all the health benefits of CBD without getting high, okay? Because okay? it contains under 0.3% THC. Mm -hmm. Go to cushydreams.com, K U S H Y. At checkout, use promo code IDIOTS for 20% off your next order. First, second, etc. Free shipping on orders over $20. Smoke your CBD with promo code IDIOTS for 20% off today. Cushy Dreams, smoke your CBD. Now let's get back to the show. Um, I want to tell everybody out there to keep listening to the Black Effect Podcast Network. Thank you to everybody out there that's listening to our various podcasts. This week, we launched the big payback with uh, Erica Alexander, and she has a host named um, Whitney Whitney Dow. Yeah, Whitney Dow. Um, it's a podcast about reparations. It's a specialty podcast that we're doing um, for Black History Month. So if you want to know the case for reparations for Black people, if you want to know why Black people are old reparations, if you want to hear people who don't feel like Black people should get reparations, this podcast, The Big Payback, has all of that in there, and it's it, it's brought to you by Color Farm Media. Salute to Erica Alexander. Erica Alexander is a brilliant queen. You know Erica Alexander, Maxine Shaw, attorney at law from Living Single, okay. Pam, <coughs> okay, Pam from the Cosby Show. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean, Kobe. So you know, whenever somebody <laughs> coughs, whenever somebody coughs, they say Kobe. Mm. Kobe. But make sure you check out that big um payback podcast and. Uh, Black Privilege Publishing, you know we have Tamika Mallory's book, State of Emergency, coming out May 11th, State of Emergency, How to Win in the Country We Built. Please go pre-order that. But we also announced another title that's coming out this year by my girl, Anita Kopaz. It's called Shallow Waters. Okay, Shallow Waters is a young adult fantasy fiction story about the African mermaid, uh, Yimmy Ya. You know what I mean? You probably heard... Darius Love Hall, Lorenz Tate's character in Love Jones, when he mentioned Yimmy Ya. Mm -hmm. You remember that, Taylor, in that poem? I remember that. Are you my Yimmy Ya? I don't think she even seen wait, that movie. Wait, wait, she never seen that, Love wait. Jones. Wait. Excuse me? Uh, when you heard Beyonce say baby sister repping Yimmy Ya, uh, Anita Kopaz wrote a great young adult fiction fantasy book 
about uh, Yimmy Ya. We released the cover a couple of days ago, and um, she was the number one bestseller on Amazon. Dope. And um, the science fiction fantasy black, which I didn't even know was a category, black science fiction fantasy category. So I was happy to see that, man. So, yeah, go out there and pre-order Anita Kopaz's book, Shallow Waters. It's a great read for the young adults in your life. OK. And as I said, pre-order Tamika Mallory's State of Emergency, How to Win in the Country We Built, all on Black Privilege Publishing, which is my book imprint through Simon & Schuster. We cooking, baby. I'm going to do I'm going to do like two titles a year, two book titles a year. I think I think that's a good number. So we got two more. We got two more coming in 2022 already on the books, but we'll announce those at a later date. You got any church announcements, Schultzy? Yo, we back on tour. Talk to me. <laughs> uh, March, theandrewschultz.com for tickets, but uh, Salt Lake City <clears throat> sold out. Uh, Columbus, Ohio, I believe, is sold out. Then we're going to, fuck, let me get a couple more of these cities. But uh, I'm excited to get back on stage, man. And um, let's see. We got uh, Nashville, Tennessee. Atlanta, Georgia, Atlanta, baby, uh, Raleigh, North Carolina, West Palm Beach, Florida, Phoenix, Arizona, and then Tampa Bay, Florida. Uh, we'll be adding more shows. Uh, but, yeah, go check out theindustrials.com for tickets before they're sold out. And um, God bless you guys. I support. I also want to do a show here in Miami. I'll announce that soon. I think it's going to be a real, like, a pop-up. Like, maybe we'll announce it a day or two before because um, – I got to get my sea legs back. Is that what it's called? Your sea legs. You feel like you lost it, bro? Yeah, man. Yeah, I lost it, bro. Really? That core, man. That core weak, man. You got to get a strong that back. Core you got a, nah. You got a weak back. Nah, talking nah, about nah, comedy, nah. man. It's, it's not oh, in you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, you, I, I, I wasn't I paying wanna, attention. I'm I'm thinking, <laughs> my fault. I thought you should be talking about nothing early. My fault, bro. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no. I want to get back on stage, you know, just get it back, man. You know, it's a crap. Yeah, so you just got to make sure you still got it. But it's muscle memory. It'll How be long back. has it been? I don't know. Last show I did, I think, was in New Jersey when we went to do those shows in Jersey. When was that? I don't know. Summer? Go out to Austin, bro. Go to Stubbs. Say what? <laughs> go out to Austin. Go to Stubbs. Yeah, That's what right? it's called. I go to Stubbs with Chappelle and uh, Rogan <laughs> and all of them. By the way, <laughs> jokes that have now been edited out of episodes of Guy Code. Bro, it, they took down a whole episode, bro. They took down a whole episode. Listen, Guy Code is 10 years something old. something about, what the fuck did I say? Something about like in the summer. What you looking at, Taylor? No, nothing. Guy Code is 10 years old this year. Ten years ago feels like a decade, isn't it? Oh, it's a decade, Charlotte. Oh, that's that's kind of how time. I'm about works. to say, listen, don't confuse me, bro. Like <laughs> <laughs> hell, bro. This motherfucker don't know nothing else, and now all of a sudden you know Yo, what a decade. Charlotte, Charlotte, that might have been one of the <laughs> dumbest things I've ever heard said. <laughs> I'm like, that's not like what the fuck <laughs> record, bro. Holy shit, confusing me and shit, Charlotte. Man, we need to stop the podcast right there, and that needs to be the first line of this episode. Charlotte man just said. Ten years ago, that feels like a decade, bro. Hey, hey, do sixty seconds feel like a minute, Charlemagne? <laughs> Twenty-four hours feel like a day to you? You really are in touch with your feelings, cause you got this time shit down, my friend. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my, y'all know what I meant. It felt like it just felt like a long time Get ago. It. it was a listen. It was a long time ago, bro. Bro, the it way was, the sun went down, that shit felt like a sunset, bro. I swear <laughs> to God, dog. If you would have if you if you seen the sun go down past the horizon, you would have felt like it was a sunset, oh, too, if you would have oh, seen it. Oh, man. The moral of the story is salute Dave Chappelle and Chris McCarthy. Okay? Nah, we're not getting off of this, bro. We got a couple more jokes to come. We got a couple more jokes left. We got a couple more jokes left. I see you trying to tap out of this shit so fucking fast. <laughs> yeah, the second year of one joke, he was like, well, if you thought we were idiots, Yo, you're right. Bro. If you thought we were brilliant, you're right, too. Hey, <laughs> been hey, an episode hey of man. I saw an episode of First 48 the other day. That shit felt like two days, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that shit felt like they were searching for them guys for two fucking days, yo. The worst. <laughs> Listen, I, I want to talk about I want to talk about um uh, Lil Boosie's comments about Lori Harvey. I want you to insert right. those, Taylor. Have you heard them? Yeah. You heard the comments? Who me? Yeah. Now nah, what did he say? Okay. What did he say, basically, Taylor? Basically saying that. 
uh, Lori Harvey should just stick with like how Wax feels, like with one yeah. person, yes. one celebrity. He, she shouldn't be dating around and everything else like that. And um, doesn't think that and thinks that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't put all that on me. Michael B. Jordan, like he's sorry. He um, just like Wax. He thinks that Michael B. Jordan shouldn't have wifed Lori Harvey. Yeah, he said we shouldn't be giving Lori Harvey credit for running through all of these dudes. You should be giving the guys yeah. credit for running through. Lori Harvey. Why you say Wax and, said and, that? And he was like, if you're if you're cool <laughs> with what Lori Harvey's doing, then that means you're cool with your daughter having sex with seven or eight dudes. I don't, I don't thing, think it's cool, right? Okay. Men would pass out if they saw their woman's body count, right? Uh -huh. If they saw their woman's whole facts, for lack of a better word, uh -huh. right? Right. And I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Like, number one, we're acting like Lori Harvey's sleeping with all these guys. We don't know that. And number two, even if she is, so what? Because whether it's Lori Harvey or Lori down the block, she's had more than one dick in her life. What's the problem? But everybody know these motherfuckers. If I know this motherfucker, I ain't wife for you. She's Who a celebrity. cares the guy that this motherfucker that you gotta deal with? You're gonna know. Nobody dealing with that shit. If Here's I know my thing. guy or somebody I know fucked you, I ain't been with you like that. No way. Here's, here's the, the unfortunate truth. I don't want to think about it. The Why more famous the way. dick you take, the more dicks it seems like you've taken. So if you take one famous dick, exactly. that's equivalent to like 20 dicks. Well, we, like, we've, we've, we've always told to women shit. on this podcast, if you sleep with two men in the same industry... You will get labeled a whore. Not saying yes. you're a whore. Unfairly so. Unfairly. Unfairly so. Unfairly. Because those two guys might meet somewhere. If you're fucking industry dudes, they might meet in the studio. That's not cool. If they athletes, they might meet in the locker room. You know what I'm saying? Not if cool. they fucking hairdressers, they might meet in the hair salon and start reminiscing about your vagina. It's not cool. Yeah. You know, now you a hoe. To everybody, not saying it's true. I don't believe that to be the case. But I'm that's just, the perception. That's the perception. Yeah, and you want to, you don't want that to be. And no man want their wife to be percepticized, whatever the fuck that word is. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, no man what? want their girl to be like right, that. I want right, my. You know right. <laughs> what? Take take five minutes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, take five minutes. How do you know that word is? Right. Perceptitized? Perceptitized. I don't know what you per just said. Perception bro. Perceptitized <laughs> is what wax wants women to do after they've slept with more than two guys. In no, life. it's not. No, see, let, let me let me put it like this. I said she she told me wrong. That's a lie. I said only have one penis a year. I said if you have more than one penis a year, I said, woman, think about this. If you have start having sex at 20 and you, at, when you're 30 years old, if you have just two penises a year, that's fucking 20 penises. But why, what the fuck? But why are you thinking that she's What's having so that? she's not dating or in a relationship? Like <laughs> how we get on yo, dick math? Yo, hold on. <laughs> yo, that dick math was wild. Yo, yo, that's <laughs> a lot of fucking meat, <laughs> yo. Two dicks a year <laughs> for <laughs> 10 years, you get 20 dicks. Why you just say that you just don't want to know. That's it. Because she's gonna have know. more. She's going to. That's wild to Girl me. Girls ain't virgins. I understand yo, they not virgins, yo, 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 but how right. many miles you want them to have? It, don't matter. it doesn't matter. Does it You're matter? not going to know anyway. You know yeah. that crazy, bro? <laughs> if you grow to love if that one girl. Go ahead, Schultz. What did you say? Well, if a girl has had 20 penises, mm -hmm. that means she's had at least 40 cocks in her mouth. <laughs> absolutely. So, what? Yeah, absolutely. Minimum. Absolutely not. That's a fact. That's a come fact. on. Come on. Show wait, 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 wait. Women Two. always suck double the dick than they do dick. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that's true. 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 Hundred percent. Media again. You don't even listen. You don't even want to bring hand jobs into the equation. Oh my! Oh my gosh! How many you grabbed and who you grabbed? Jesus! That's at least three to four times. We're talking about that's what I'm saying. You gotta slow down. Okay, so that's the gotta slow down. If women really think about it, how many times has a woman said, "I'm not gonna fuck you, but I suck your dick"? Who? And I, you know, it's real funny when girls say that. make us bring out that little clip with you that we edited. Bring it out. You remember that clip we added to the U? Hey. I didn't you remember know. That first, of all, Taylor, first of all, Taylor, first of all, first of all. She's married now. You can't do that. All, first of all, I never, I've never just sucked the dick and then just leave. No. That's not I what we was. asked you. We asked Taylor one simple math equation on this um. Yeah, because y'all going to fuck. Look how y'all making it. Look at how y'all making it. How many dicks like can a John this? from Philly suck if like, a John from Philly could six. suck dick? Carry the four. No, this is Taylor trying to calculate all the dicks. 
<laughs> Y'all are full of How shit. many dicks can a because... John from Philly suck if a John from Philly could suck dicks? Say that three times fast. Say it. You can't even fucking say it. So... <laughs> But if y'all think about that math, it's kind of wild, sound though. fucking crazy. So if we say, like, all right, so how many times a guy gives head or, yeah, gives head to a girl? I then... ain't never gave head to no girl. Yeah, 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 he's crazy. Yo, and Carla know my whole history. <laughs> giving head. My girl know my whole history, though. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> yes. You don't know your whole history. <laughs> don't disrespect. I mean, she know she know that I was out there. She know she know if any, she hear anything. That's, that's probably mean? whack. Carla, Yo, I can tell. Carla, let me tell you something. Tell you something. <laughs> I can <laughs> tell you without a shadow of a doubt. Whatever <laughs> wax told you was a lie. <laughs> <laughs> No, yo, yo. One day, Carla, hey, we gonna sit around real. and have some drinks. I got some war stories. Listen, all right. Regardless, I better never question you about your body. Exactly. Listen. What do you? Why do you sound dumb as hell uh, trying to question? I, 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 I'm not questioning. Wax. Listen, listen, wax your whole facts are on a no CBS sense. receipt. <laughs> <laughs> a CBS at the CDC. Listen. The CDC got to have goddamn wax this whole facts. Uh, listen. This is a man who pulls condoms ah, out of the ocean. The and wax, how many times have you it. had sex? You probably had a finger in your butt too. Shut up. Oh, wow, yeah, right. Wow, wow. Yeah, see? <laughs> see? Out of control. <laughs> <laughs> no. Taylor's a wild girl. Where? No, where? that's because. No, no, no. Where? 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 Yes. Where? Because wow. that's how y'all said All right, you had on. to double up the head with the girls. Who said that y'all don't got fingers in your butt? All right, so that never happened. So keep going. <laughs> yo, yo, tell her. I'm what else you got? I don't care. I don't care. You gotta tell sounds. me something else. I don't care how it sounds. Nah, the more girls you have sex with as a dude, the less fingers in your butt. Thank Actually, you. No, no, no. Especially if the nope. girl's giving you head, I know a finger slipped in your butt. Don't lie. Oh, Whoa. How did it slip? <laughs> like, <laughs> how do fingers That's just slip in people's Come butts? On. Like, what's up? Are you <laughs> slipping fingers in people's Dubai. butts? No. Then how would it happen to me? What? I'm saying. I'm just Lex. saying. Lex, Lex, Randy, actually, come right here. Now, come bro. here real quick. Jesus. Come here. Self Peg the stallion. No, no, don't start this. No. Peggy start Bundy. This. We're not having no white people on the podcast. Here, bro. <laughs> that, that's Get Billy right there. The I want to know who the fuck Mandy hiding from. She got a mask on, a wig. I don't know who the fuck Mandy is today. I'm what kind of hair woman. does she have? Let me Andy, go a queen. Black queen. Black queen. Listen, I'm I'm on team. I don't give a fuck who you fuck. I know every woman has a past. I think to think otherwise is ridiculous. Mm, and if men really past. knew how they women got down back in the day, they couldn't handle it. They yeah. couldn't handle women acting the way that we used to we act. I understand that. But if you have a you have a somebody that's been in the game, now if you have somebody that was a fucking a car that somebody owned or a fucking Uber, you're not gonna fucking buy a fucking Uber. You jump in Ubers every day. We understand that. I ride a fucking Uber, I'll just fuck a girl like that, but I'm not gonna just wife Yo, a fist fucking fuck a girl. <laughs> Guys on drugs. What the I get fuck? It. I'm not. I'm not just going <laughs> to sit there and buy an Uber. Would you own an Uber? Would you go? Yes, inside? I would love to own an Uber. All right, good job. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. You might own an Uber want now. Own an Uber. I don't you don't. Have you don't Uber know what your, your your girl will never tell you her true history ever because we, we she know you're gonna react we, crazy. We understand that, but, but Wax, listen, I don't Wax. want my neighbor's car. Wax, what you're trying to say is go ahead. You'll be in an Uber. And you'll go, wow, this is really comfortable. I really enjoy this experience. I'm going to get a car just like this Uber, but I'm not going to buy this Uber because so many different Uber. people have been in this version of he it. He won't delete that app off his phone, though. <laughs> <laughs> that app is a matter of convenience. He won't delete you that gotta app. You got to get rid of the app. I'm By the way, from Uber, though. Wax, I'm going to tell you how Wax is consistent with this. Talk to me. There is a young lady who I think is a beautiful woman, pretty, can cook. She was incredible. That's what I thought Wax was going to end up with. The white girl? There we go. There Not the white girl. There we go. Let's this go. was way back in the day. But she oh. she was us. She was not one of us. She used to get down. Listen, I don't know nothing. She, she, oh, she used to get cracked out. She fucked the crew. <laughs> oh, but what you mean me? I ain't got nothing to do with this. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> he gave me the look. They got time this for the guy, look. That's a dangerous look. I, I know, know you ain't lying to go about know. stuff, yo. What, what, what you mean? What I you mean? Listen, Mandy, you think calling those wax body count? Listen. <laughs> yo, wax, why you stressing? I ain't stressing, but this shit got a lot stress. to do with this guy. Oh, yeah. Carla, my ask friend, questions. My friend has been very, very honest with her past with him. Thank you. And he's, we, I actually told her not to wife him. 
Because I said he's a hoe. And I and said, she, everybody and, know everything. And we know that. So on. I That's actually peace. was a friend that was like, I don't know if you really want to be with a hoe. So to be fair, women do it the same way that y'all do maybe to you women. You a hoe, yo. yo we do it the same understand. thing. You kind of look the Lori Harvey of hood niggas, yo. <laughs> <laughs> you are, yo. Uh, <laughs> and, and by the way, Lori, I don't even know if Lori was fucking, so I'm not even going to say that about Lori. Lori, Wax was fucking. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll get it, bro. Wax was fucking. Wax wasn't nothing. He wasn't nothing. Yeah, I wasn't nothing. That's an important that thing. He nothing. wasn't nothing for a while. I wasn't nothing. He wasn't nothing for a while. Same situation. You know. he, he wasn't nothing for a while. No, I, I'm making up for wax not nothing. I'm nothing. Very <laughs> sick. I don't listen. By the way, <laughs> guys want an experienced woman though. Yeah, you uh -huh. want a woman that know what the fuck she's doing. And how does guy, how do girls find out what they like too? We have we to date hey, 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 hey. I, I just said one a year. Us. What's wrong with one hey, a year? Because us. things don't have to stop. You gotta be realistic. That's not yeah, that's right? not realistic. Be realistic. That's not realistic. If, if you talk to some girl, y'all fall out, and then you start talking to someone else. Like be realistic. Because one, one penis is your, so what's good for one year? What's okay? What's average for a girl one year? And I'm, I'm going to give you some many, calculations. Many, Tell, all right, let's five, all be honest. Let's all be honest five. for one second. What's your body count, Taylor? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying... Let's be honest. I'm, no, I'm not There's no judgment here. The it's only no person judgment, I need to Taylor. know are my Taylor. friends and my man. Mandy, and, my Mandy man. and Weezy are in here. I know they're not afraid. Mandy, what's your body count? I lost count at 18. Mandy Dude. lost count at 18. 18? 18 years old or 18, 18 dicks? Old or 18? 18 years old. Yeah. Okay, Mandy lost count at 18 years old. Weezy, what's your body count? Yes. Men and women, we just over 50. Nyla's in here. Nyla, what's your body count? Wow. Nyla, what's your body count, Nyla? Look at this nigga. Y'all ain't shit. Y'all ain't shit. He ran like your shirt. Yo, he ran like your shirt. Nyla's in here with her Nyla's in here with her boyfriend. I didn't mean to put her on the spot. Alex, do you know Nyla's body count? Oh my God! Whoa! Why you did this? Yeah, well, no why problem. you did this? Yo, Alex did this twice. <laughs> he was like 10, 20, 30. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, this guy is crazy. What is going on here? Oh, wow. Yo, what is going on? I have nothing to do with this. One question. One question. Wheezy. There's a lot of numbers. You said over fifty. There's a lot Men of numbers and women. over fifty. There's a lot of what? There's a lot of numbers over put 50. Put your lips on the mic. How you had got all this experience and don't know to put your lips on the mic? I don't know what to do. Um, you said over 50. There's I, Between 50 and 75. That's, oh, my, that's, okay. my, that's my real number. I wouldn't. I mean, I know fucking, normally bro. you multiply you by fucking. three. But. Do you count? Like, do you keep like a tally? I have a tally in my phone. Really? Yeah. She started Only 75 dicks. She started How old are you? Weezy? I'm about to be 30 in a month. Do the dick math, oh, Wax. No, 30, don't do it. 75. So, so that's, that's like seven a year for I'm 10 years. I'm a free spirit. <laughs> when did you start? What? And I've had threesomes, so that's a few at a time. Well, you know what I mean? Seven, like seven a year for 10 years. years. I keep that's count only because... That's what? I don't that's know how much that is. Dick every two months. Nah, because I've had long-term boyfriends, so... May maybe when that's I'm hoeing, dick. I'm really hoeing. When did you lose your virginity? Uh, 16. 16, so 16 to 30, so 15 years, 75, do the math. So, How threesomes many? I've had a lot of. We've, I've fucked a lot of bitches last right. year. No, sorry, the year that we were open, so 2019. Maybe like 10 in there. I don't think women count in this equation. Mm. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> yeah, because women so, don't count. Just track the women out of this. We only counting Yo, dicks. This is dick math. I just math. saw Mandy's wig, and you need That's to really let go of them fucking <laughs> Dalmatians, Yo. <laughs> The wife, the lady, right? The oh, mom. Cruella de Vil. <laughs> kill all the Dalmatians, man. The dog owner. Man, he's trying to kill all the fucking Dalmatians. That's animal abuse. <laughs> We're going to do the Horrible Decisions Porn, 101 Dicks, starring Wheezy and Mandy. But, but give me the Mandy going to be Cruella de Vil, and she's going to be over wow. Wheezy's dick count. You say what? 101 penetrations. <laughs> 101 penetrations. <laughs> Listen, I think women should be able to do what the fuck they want to do. And I don't judge women for who they've had sex with. I think that's whack to even nah, I'm, chastise a listen, woman because she got judging. a pass. Listen, I'm not judging. Nah, I just said I, that I'm just, for me, the wife, at least if I know, let me accept it. Because only way, only reason why I'm going to be with a girl because I accept her flaws. I ain't with her because I accept all the great things that she's showing me. I accept all her flaws. That's why I'm with her. So why do you care about the count then? Because I want to know my... You, so you going to go to a... Vid, you going to buy, uh, buy a car. What you going to do? You don't, <laughs> don't want to know what's going on with the car? I like to hear stories. I don't need to hear like the number. The you want to know if this car been crashed. 
Taylor, you want all this car been in the flood? He understands things in terms of automobiles. Yes. And chickens. So if you're going to explain. <laughs> <laughs> and we. There's, an, there's not a eight. car. By the way, we talk about high mileage as if the most reliable car ever is not a fucking Honda anything. Mm. Them hey. Hondas last forever. 200,000, 300,000 nah, plus miles on nah, it. Them, them, um, them trucks, them 18 wheeler trucks, five, 600,000. You got to get a fat girl. <laughs> <laughs> You know your girl's body count shows? Say what? You know your girl's body count? Your fiance? Nope. You don't, don't want to know? I don't let her tell me about absolutely nothing. Where's the car fax at? Why does it bother you? So, like, I, I need I a car fax. Just give me the car fax. One thing about sure wax that I know. Get flooded. I just want to make sure you ain't get flooded. But, wax is going to get a bad car accident. The same girl. So why does it matter? Wax is afraid of his own karma. That's why he goes to restaurants yeah. and he orders plastic silverware because yes. he used to rub the butter knife in his asshole no, I didn't. when he used to work I in used the to restaurant. Put the forks on my balls. No, you used to give yourself a wet Willy Wonka. Yeah, with a butter knife. I never used to knife. Butter knife. It was just a spoon. With the butter I, knife. I, I, you know, listen, I used to do the thing, you know, people like spooning. So I used to put my balls on the top of the um on a spoon and All just right, I used to say that was spooning. I don't and, even know and why. And now he's afraid shit. of his own karma. Yeah, that's why I'm So it's the same shit. thing with women. He knows that he's been a hoe. Right? Right. So he don't want to wife a hoe because he wouldn't wife no, himself. Right. Listen, can I, I, I never fully question? committed can with these girls. Question? This is a serious question. If that is something that we can't help, it's not something society put on us. But it's something that's like biologically built into a lot of guys, right? Okay. Don't we owe it to women to tell them and say, hey, we're not as into a girl that's had tons of partners. That's so right. So maybe we should let you know this before you go out there and do something that could stop you from being with your dream man. Like, that's isn't dumb. that the, the, the honest, right thing to do? Carfax. Yes. Who's going to say it? Like, what guy is saying this, though? What do you mean? He's like, saying it you, right now. What do you mean by that, though? Like, you're talking about if you talk to a girl... Or you just no, got pro- I'm saying we're saying on the podcast okay. that in an ideal world, you know, that you guys wouldn't be straight run through. You know, listen, my wife knows my body count, give a give or take a dozen, but that's only because <laughs> I can't remember a lot of shit. Yeah, I can't tell you. You know shit. what I mean? But the ones I can remember, she absolutely positively knows about. Charlemagne told y'all are mine. You over, are you over? A, <laughs> no, uh, I have you, not. No, okay, <laughs> shut up. I would love to write. No, wa- I would love to write Wax's superhead book. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Of- uh, man, <laughs> I've seen some shit. Ah. <laughs> No, baby, it's all back in the day. But you see, though, Wax, like, you know your past. <laughs> I just don't understand how you could judge I, You understand, again, I un- understand other people have past. Just make sure you ain't been ran through. I right, make sure you don't have a flood. Make sure you ain't have a total lost car, and I'm I got this fucking fucking. What is car. ran through, though? Exactly. I, I'm, ju- I'm just what saying, I don't no, know. Is- Wax don't want a girl. That he don't want he don't want any girl that's had things done to her that he's done to other women. No, that's not true. That is true. That's not true. I just don't want to have to deal with a girl that has sex with people that I know. Like that's I, it. again, so like, she could be a hoe, just not knowing me, you. I, I, could, I could love this girl. She has sex with Charlamagne. Nah, you think I'm a wife her? Point, you should. No, what you mean I should? You? <laughs> And he think it's okay. He'd be like, Max, you not roll with that girl. I told you about I'm that about the other girl. Ah. I'm like, yo, she's a good girl. <laughs> this she nigga, is a good girl. Never mind the fact she fucked the crew. <laughs> okay? We'll all so act what like... Am I, what am I supposed to do? What you mean? Am I supposed to wife her? Yes. After she fucked everybody else with the wife her? Just don't invite nobody with me to the wedding. <laughs> 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 shit. At least just one other That's guy. That's me. <laughs> Wait, Wait, who who is this? I can't do it. I'm sorry. She's a great girl, too. Great girl. A phenomenal what? girl. Amazing. Yeah. You don't know her. Nah, shut up. Is it Hold on. How you know her? Know? Who is this person? How you know? She got her hair done. Now she can fucking no. know everything. No, 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 no. <laughs> shit. Got some gorilla glue on her edges. Now she acting like she fucking know <laughs> no. what the hell's going you know on. Everything. What'd you say, no. Charles? Do I know her? Nah, I don't think y'all know her. Oh. It's okay. back in the I day. I don't know her. Nala, you know her? I met her at the wedding. You met her at the wedding? What wedding? Uh, Who? Man, I, Nala I, said she met her at the wedding. <laughs> no, no, no. She wasn't at Kente wedding. I hope not. No, oh, you talking there. about some? Oh, you talking about somebody else? <laughs> you talking about the one my aunt said? <laughs> Chill out, man. See, I, I, I'm not doing this. <laughs> I'm not doing this. I'm not doing, it. doing this. I'm not doing this. Carla, if you ever need good stories, man, man. I got them for days. Oh, man, you know I ain't got nothing. Man, that shit was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, what? what? <laughs> 
It's not cool, yo. It's all your yo, fault again. That's oh, Charlamagne's fault again. On the radio, oh, playing around. That's funny, man. Yo, he's that so upset so right funny. now. Charlamagne on the radio, playing no, around. That's so funny. For nothing. I'm like, why you say it on the radio? <laughs> I ain't say her name. I didn't say her name. <laughs> My aunt said, is wax okay? <laughs> <laughs> I said, yeah, he good. Why? <laughs> His aunt, his mom. mom. My mom was like, I overheard some things. I overheard, I overheard some things. Like, let me stop. Let me stop, man. Please. That shit was so funny. Bro. Damn, it's mad. It was really too, funny, yo. man. Moral oh, story I wish I could say. It's none of your business. For the moral of the story is not nobody's business what your whole facts is, yo. Yes, it Come is. Come on, let's pay this bill so we can do some asking idiot and get the fuck out of here. Um. All right, what's up, everybody? We're going to take a break for a second because I got to make sure that you uh, aren't bald out here in these streets, man. This is the number one most important thing when it comes to a dude aging well is having a full head of hair. Amen. Okay. I've been on well, Keeps. I'm 70. Yeah. Charlamagne <laughs> looks horrible for that reason. If he had a fro, man, he would be, you'd be looking 25 years old, you know, but um, that's not the case because he's not on that Keeps. Keeps. Simple as that. I've been doing this for over a decade. I got a full head of hair. Matter of fact, some of my hair left. Okay. I was losing my hair. I noticed it. I got right on it and boom, I'm back. Hair, thicker than ever. You can do it. I'm telling you, it is easy. And not only is it easy, if you are ready to take action right now to prevent hair loss, you go to keeps.com slash idiots to receive your first month of treatment for free. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash idiots to get your first month for free. Okay? okay, okay. Keeps.com slash idiots. I'm telling you, this is number one important, fellas. You don't have to be bald anymore. All right? Don't wait too long. Now you're out here with Tory Lanez looking like Ali's coach. Bro. You don't want that life. Okay, you want Tory to need that shit bad, bro. Bad man. It's not. It's not good. You got to get there early. Get there before it starts. I'm telling you, fellas, it is possible. <clears throat> and ladies, if you see your man losing it, don't wait too long. Okay, because you can get out ahead of it and you can get that full head of hair that you need. All right. So that's keeps.com/idiots. Make sure you do that and you get your first month of treatment for absolutely free. Go, 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 go right now. Go get that. Now let's get back to the show. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do some asking idiots so we can get the fuck up out of here. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah, Tory Lanez. Yo, man, Tory shit Yikes, look crazy, man. yo. Come on, man. I saw that years ago on The Breakfast Club, though. If you ever, if you go back and watch an old Tory Lanez, if you go back and watch the one where Tory had the puppet with him, and I was asking Tory, because Tory said he got $30,000. He paid $30,000 for his headline, but I kept asking him, like, what's up with this, though? <laughs> this shit at the top, what's up with that? And yeah. he was like, nah, nah, my shit gonna grow in, my shit gonna grow in. That was like five years ago. Yeah. And when I told Nick to come, I said, Nick, put the camera on the top of Tori's head. And Tori said, I will fuck you up Word if up. you bring that goddamn yeah. camera over here, Nick. Don't get fucked up in the studio. And I always wonder why he got so, like, <laughs> aggressive about it. I'm like, now I know. Yeah. We saw why. Why don't he just keep it low? Yeah. Why he do that? Yeah, just keep a baldy, bro. Come on, man. Just keep a baldy. Keep and get your, well, I guess, you know what, 30000 you pay for the headline, you ain't pay for the other shit. You should have paid for like another thirty line. for that. You just paid for the line. Word yeah. up, Taylor. Let's yeah. do some asking idiots. Um. Okay. S now for our weekly segment Seth. where Taylor gets the asking idiots. It's up, so crazy. Even though she knows she's gonna do it every single week. Somebody on YouTube said the funniest shit. They was like asking idiots should just be ask a Taylor because every time, they, <laughs> <laughs> every time, I don't think you're an idiot, Taylor. I'm just telling you what somebody said on YouTube. <laughs> I don't think that. You know I love you. If there's one, Taylor, we got? If there's one person that loves you, it's me. Okay? Taylor, what we got? Okay. Um, I don't know how to say his name. It says Steven781, what goals do you have for yourself this year? What goals do you have for yourself this year, Schultzy? I got to keep that a little bit quiet right now. Ooh. Uh-oh. So we got shit of brewing, man, but Ooh. I got to keep that a little bit. Okay, okay. A little bit quiet. Right now. All I got is execution. Execution is my word for the year. That's it. I just want to execute everything that we're doing. I uh -huh. want to execute the Black Effect Podcast Network. I want to uh, execute Black Privilege Book Publishing Company. I want to execute SBH, you know, at Audible with Kevin Hart. It's just all about execution. Execute mm. something else that we're launching in May. I just want to execute. That's it. Execution is the name of the game. Execution. That's it. Long as we execute, sky's the limit, baby. That's it. That do you have one? Um, my goal is to have, I'm in 30 stores in LA right now in the dispensaries of Who's Wax. I want to be in all 100 in the very near future. So dope. Definitely my goal. Okay. Go Fire. Get who's Wax early. All right. Um, L underscore J underscore 21 wants to know biggest regret of your 20s. 
Biggest regret of my 20s. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got time for that. <laughs> be here all day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? To I'm, about, I'm about to say for real? You know, the 20s was a wild decade, bro. That was a wild 10 years. Yeah. Wow. 20s. But it's hard to, you know what I realized? It's hard to regret things when you are where you want to be. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Because they help get you there, whether they were good or bad. I don't regret anything from my 20s, if nah. I'm being totally honest. 20s was a good time. Exactly. 20s was, 20s was, let me see, I started doing radio in 1998. So I had just turned 20. I turned 20 mm -hmm. when I was an intern. And so from 20, and let me see, I got with Wendy when I was like 26, 27. No, 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 no. Like 28, some shit like that. So that was like eight years of between Charleston, South Carolina, and Columbia, South Carolina, running was, the streets. Was wilding. We was having a ball. Yeah, that was like That was yeah. the crunk era. That was Nuck If You Buck and goddamn Little John and then Jeezy Trap would die. Yeah. It's just like, that was just a different life. Yeah. I don't even know who that guy is anymore. Yeah, he's gone. That was IHOP, Waffle House. Fights. And but you telling people that uh you got me banned from IHOP too, bro. No, you got yourself banned from IHOP. I ain't I ain't doing it. You did that. Of I course know. they was gonna see me, but come on. Well, I used to go to eat and walk out. <laughs> no, but listen. Come on, you think I was gonna pay for everybody's shit? He did that everywhere he went. <laughs> no, that's not true. IHOP banned him, as they should have. <laughs> He might still be banned stealing. from IHOP. I think I might be stealing. Banned from he was yeah. stealing. I was That's not stealing. stealing. Pancakes. Ooh, man, listen, he would no. go in there and eat and then walk out. Man, listen, man. Listen, I don't remember. I, everybody walked out, and it was like whoever the last person here got paid for the bill. I was out, but everybody just, of course, they're going to look at me like he was there. Like, look at all these other motherfuckers. You don't see nobody else? Probably not. All right, come on. Nobody steals from IHOP except for Wax. One time, because I wasn't paying the bill. More than once. And he wouldn't sleep with the IHOP server. All of a sudden, he don't want to sleep with cool her. We was cool with her. We was cool with her. That was my girl. I love her. Yeah, I can't she, remember her name. I wish I could remember her name, Yeah, man. she is peace, man. But I wasn't going to smash her for, the, for that. I should have done. That's back in the day. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Give us another one, Taylor. Um, I'm not going to say his name. I don't know it. But is Daniel Kaluuya on, on route to be the next big star in Hollywood? Is Daniel Kawula on route to be that? I mean, I would. Always, I, I mean, I don't know if he's. I don't, I don't know what you mean when you say next big star. I think Daniel's already a star. I mean, Get Out was a hundred plus million dollar movie. I mean, it's a movie that you know crossed so many different you know demographics. Like people, like when you see Dan, white people, black people, when you see Dan, like oh, that's the dude from Get Out. Like that's a which one? The the one the that black was, guy. The black guy. Yeah, yeah that's a classic role. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Um. He was in Black Panther. That's a billion dollar movie. Like, uh -huh. like, I think Daniel's pretty much a star, bro. Yeah, Daniel's doing all right in Hollywood. Yeah, and Judas and the Black Messiah is great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, shout out yeah, to Lucas Brothers, man. man. Lucas, yo, man, yo, salute to the Lucas Brothers. Mm -hmm. By the way, another example of why comedians are the greatest creatives because only comedians can go from doing super funny, silly shit. There's something as dramatic as goddamn Judas and the Black Messiah. Mm. There's not too many people that got that, that range like comedians. Me, that, that's my personal opinion. Yeah. Mm. Salute Martin, to the Lucas brothers. Yeah, Martin the comedian. Martin the comedian, yeah. yeah. But shout out to, uh, yeah, I think Daniel's already on his way. I mean, I don't know what more could he do. Yeah. Um, nah, he's a star. Give us one more, Taylor, so we can get the fuck out of here. Bay's uh, Tennessee uh, wants to know if Brady is the greatest white guy, who is the greatest black guy? Who's the greatest black guy of all time? Wax. Shut up. <laughs> the greatest black guy of all time. I mean, I don't know. I mean, for me, I, I always go back and forth between um, Martin Luther King Jr. and the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. For me, I, I, personally, I'll probably say the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. For me, that's my, per, that's my personal. Yeah. I don't know too many people. I say wax. Because I, I, I look at the fruit off people's trees. So when you get the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, you get Muhammad Ali, you get Malcolm X, you get the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, you get the whole nation of Islam. A person that can transform men and women and make them be the best version of themselves. I, you know, for me, it's Honorable Elijah Muhammad. I, I, I tell everybody they should read "Message to the Black Man" by Elijah Muhammad. To me, that's that's my personal favorite, greatest but black man ever. You're also basing Brady off of his sports, though, like his athlete, athlete. Yeah, by his whole life, yeah. who he is. What else? We I mean, how many people he? But, how many people so he brought to? Even comparable yeah, how many people he brought to the nation or to exactly. God or anything like that? 
I don't know, man. That's the difference between being white and black. Man. Yeah, he brought people When a lot you're of money. white, you can just play football and be considered the greatest white man of all time. When you're black, you got to change Need people's nations. lives. Yeah, you yeah, man. Yes. yeah, man. That's it, Schultzy? I'm trying to think who my greatest black man of we, all nobody time wants you to, We don't even want you to answer this question. We don't even want you to go down this road. We don't even want you to it's do this okay. to yourself, Andrew. It's, it's okay. okay. It's okay. You don't have to rise I, to this challenge. I hey, think I have a good one. Hezzy, <laughs> you don't have to rise to this Hezzy. challenge, Hezzy. 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 Okay. Hezzy. You holler at me, man. Hezzy. Guys, I think I have a good one. Great All right. It might be wet. Okay, give it, give it to us for shits and giggles. Fine. For shits and giggles. Greatest black man of all time. Of all time. I thought you meant you know. Is... 